Hey guys, we should be live now and we're trying out a new setup today. So hopefully there are some people in the chat. I do already see Carlo and Lego Madness out there and A2Z of Lego. Hi, A2Z of Lego. They say it's their first time on a, on a stream. How are things? Well, it's really good. And just to let you know, I'm Sarah. And I'm Mike. And yeah. we do Lego streaming several times throughout the week. We sit and we build because I have a huge collection. So we tend to do live building to get through all of this crazy amount of Lego that I have to build. And I also make video content about it. Thanks for joining the live stream and I, I hope that you enjoy it, A2Z. And Finn O'Sullivan. Hi, Finn. Thanks for joining. Oh, it's early. We don't usually stream this early. For us, it feels early. <laughs> And for you guys, anybody who's in the U.S., I know it's early. Hi, Anna. Hi, Thomas. I'm your favorite fan. Aw, that's so nice, Thomas. I really like that a lot. Thank you, Thomas. That's so sweet. Lego Mana says, nice new software. It's much better than StreamYard. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, and I see actually we have the chat popping up on our screen. I hope that that helps for you guys. I love your live streaming and I love your videos. Literally, I watch your videos all the time, says Thomas. Oh, thank you. I, thank you so much. That's very nice to hear and I'm, I'm glad that you're enjoying the content. I really appreciate that a lot. It gives me a lot of encouragement, so <laughs> thank you. And Sarah as well. Hi, Sarah. Sarah says, going out for a dog walk now, but we'll check back in. Okay, enjoy that. Don't don't let her get a big giant branch this time. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's dog is so cute. She's really pretty. She's a golden retriever, right, Sarah? She looks like a golden retriever to me, but she has a really pretty dog. Finn says, hi, Sarah and Mike. Hi, hi. Finn. Awesome. I know we start stream earlier than normal, and yes, it's 3 p.m. in the UK, so UK is one hour... Um, behind us that's awesome or we're one hour ahead depending on how you look at it yeah I'm paying attention to the screen as I said we're using new software um, you may hear the <laughs> the, the, the laptop making the noise laptop <laughs> going a little bit crazy so I'm keeping an eye out on uh, CPU usage that's 28 percent that's that's pretty decent oh thanks like a menace they say I just made you a mod on my channel thank you very much and what are you building this time, says Carlo. That's an excellent question. You want to try uh, out the new fancy uh, build cam? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to... I have a camera here for you guys, which I don't know if you're going to enjoy this or not, but you can see that we are working on the modular police station. So there were some people who were asking about potentially having a build cam so that you can actually see this stuff a little bit better. It might look a little bit weird where it's placed, but I'm hoping that as we continue to improve the channel and improve the live streams that it gets a little more streamlined on how things look so it's uh it's the modular police station it looks pretty good so far this is the the promo car that i built the other day which i'm gonna make a video about this promo in case anybody wants to know more about that does this show up as teal or more as dark blue <laughs> that's ah, okay no worries more dark blue huh no worries just testing things out here so that's what we're building and i'm gonna it's the surfboard because you put oh, the car yeah. on top of this. I'm going to go ahead and test something out real quick, which... Oh, it does work! Oh, that's super cool! Look at that. That's the rules for the chat, in case anybody wants to know. So please make sure to follow the rules. And also, I don't know if you guys are part of my Discord community or not, but I do have a wonderful Discord server, and you're more than happy to join on that. So I'm just going to share the link to that. If you click that link, you should be able to join the Discord server. If you are a member or user of Discord, you can join that community online. And there's over 100 people in there. And we share a lot of photos. And it's a good way for you to share your own collection as well. If you want to share your pictures or your ideas, then you're more than happy to come and share those with everyone. And it's really cool. So check it out if you are interested in being a part of the Discord. And now I think I'm going to mute it so we can dump some pieces out on the table and get started.
All right, we should be back now. We were just dumping out some pieces and, uh, oh, that's so nice. Thomas says, I hit that like button and I hit the subscribe and I hit the bell because you're my favorite YouTuber ever. That's Thomas, nice. thank you so much. That is so sweet and kind. I really appreciate it a lot. I thank you so much. There's gonna be a lot more content on my channel soon, I hope, and it just depends on what you guys like better, live streams or videos. Are there any types of videos that you guys are interested in seeing? Somebody recently mentioned that they would be interested in seeing Mario videos, more stuff about the Super Mario, and I do have the Super Mario character packs, which are really cool, and I haven't made any videos about them yet, but if there's anything specific that you guys would be interested in, and Lego Boy says, I'm hoping to buy the police station today. Oh, awesome. Good luck with that, Lego Boy. This is pretty nice. I feel like I can see the chat pretty good. Don't... A2C says they still need to build the police station, uh, but they're currently building the old Batmobile. Ooh, Batmobile. Batmobile's cool. It is a cool set. That's really cool. We don't have any Batmobile sets. I have a little Batmobile that comes with the classic Batman cave. And we haven't built that yet, but I'm pretty excited about building that one. Oh, hi, Mrs. Brickinet. Thanks Mrs. for coming Bricks. by. That's Sarah, right? No, I don't. I don't think so. Is well, it? It's also called Sea Bricks. Oh, maybe I have two. I Zbricks think that's or... someone else. I'm not sure. Hi, Z Bricks. Hi, Brick Dude. Hi, Mohan. Wait, I can't write in caps. Oh God, looks like I can't <laughs> start my sentence with caps. You're good, Mohan. Thanks for reading the rules. <laughs> <laughs> There's the little chain. Do you see the little chain? Oh yeah, I see it there. Right here. Yeah. A2Z says, I've got the Mario starter pack. Not keen on the other Mario sets. I only got the starter pack for the Mario to use on the NES Lego. That is the exact same reason, A2Z, that we got the Mario starter pack. Because I have the NES. And the NES is so cool and fun. But it's even better to put the Mario on top and to see the sound effects with that even cooler so, donut and does this guy have hair because i built this mini figure uh, here but i can't seem to find his no, hair he has a hat oh he, he has, has a, a hat newspaper. here it is i think this is going to be the burglar for the yeah see it's he secrets. looks like that was oh Zerar. he's gonna he have switched a... his channel so no worries oh, okay it's zarar mrs brickenhead is here too hey steph hope you guys have finished the uh ninjago city gardens brick smith is here too hi brick smith Awesome to see you. Yeah, great to see you. Thanks so much for coming by the live stream. Not enough pink buckets in this set, unfortunately. I know. Anna says, I like the Christmas tree. Yes, um, it's not lit up, which I guess actually thinking of it, it would have been nice to have it lit up for the live stream. I'm going to have Mr. Starbucks turn it on for us. Eileen is here too. Hi, Eileen. Thanks so much for coming by the live stream. We're just getting set up and we're trying out some new things, so it's taking a little bit longer. Oh, I unplugged it all. You have to stick all the light plugs back in. I didn't know if we were going to use the Christmas tree lights again, so I unplugged them. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're trying to make things more streamlined and nice for everybody, so I hope it will be nice. Uh... There we go. Now we have lights. How cozy is that? It's not really Christmas anymore, but that's okay. Yeah, it time. can be Christmas in January. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the, news, the newspaper guy... The Daily Brick Seller and the Thief of Donuts. It That's super cool. Donut hanger. Oh, yeah, I can just. Yeah, you can put it really close to the camera, but I wouldn't wiggle it a lot. But you can see that there's like a donut hanging off of this stick. <laughs> and he holds the, the donut. It's a donut on a stick. Yeah, the Brickinets have finished in Ninjago Gardens. Oh, you guys built that fast. What was this? Um, Lego Madness is gonna <clears throat> go on a walk. I actually can't view that. Just mm -hmm. totally no, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Oh, I believe you. It's a rule too. Oh, no worries. Uh, let's see here. If you need it. Oh, it's okay. No worries. Just keep on keeping. Hey, Bretts. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, Brett. Hi, Brett. Brick connoisseur as well. Hi guys. Brick dude with the Yoda in the corner. Yep. Unfortunately the build cam oh, okay. is blocking oh, Grogu. 
<laughs> my volume on my phone was up. That was loud. If you switch to the normal, no, normal cam. To the normal camera? No yeah. build cam? No build cam. Grogu. <laughs> yeah, Grogu is there, of course. Exactly. It helps that the gardens has multiple booklets, so we could both build at the same time, says Steph. Mrs. Brick in it. Hi, Woodshop Teacher. Hey. I hope you're having a good weekend so far. Uh, Sarah asked if we got any promos with the garden set. So ours is not shipped yet, which is kind of weird. We were hoping it would be here yesterday or to the, today, but... Yeah, it kind of sucks a little bit that it's not on its way yet. I was hoping to get it sooner. We have enough no to worries. build, but I'm sure it will show up next week. It's supposed to come with a skating rink, so that's nice. So uh, it's interesting that we still qualified for a skating rink, even though we used all of our hit points to get under that under 50 threshold. But... I think it was Brick Clicker who asked in one of the streams, you don't get the same amount of VIP points. You get a l lower amount for only the amount that you spend. So, but yeah, hopefully it'll be here. Yeah, exactly. Adora build is here. Hey, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Thanks oh, I feel so by. bad. We really wanted to watch your live stream earlier and we slept in really, really late. So we literally just got up and rolled out of bed and got ready for this live stream. I feel so sad. Yeah, and then we had to set this up because this is the first time we're doing this. So I was like plugging away at all the buttons and cables to make sure it all works. How did your live stream go, Ruth? Like, I feel like I'm still a little bit groggy in my throat. Groggy? <laughs> yeah. I'm a little bit groggy. Oh yes, there's our build cam so people can see the bricks. Check out those bricks. Other than the manual, the manual will be here. Thomas says bye bye. I'm gonna go play a game with my friend and then I'm just gonna watch your videos for the whole day. Oh thanks, Thomas. Have a great time playing your game. Enjoy your enjoy your weekend and thank you for stopping by. Do appreciate it quite a lot. Yeah, well, I'm on. It'll probably be here on Monday. Mrs. Brickinit says, you two haven't crashed through your whole backlog yet, have you? Surely you aren't short of sets to build yet. No. No, we're not even close. We're working on the 2021 stuff because it's like new and shiny. <laughs> so we want to get into that stuff right away. But all the other stuff is still just sitting there. So there's... What have we even finished this week? Well, it's uh, like yeah. the bar and the first floor of this module. That actually reminds me that I'm supposed to make like an update type of video about what I've actually accomplished to keep me on track. But um, what did we finish? Where's what did this? we actually do? I can't find this this one by two in this color. I have like a weird little oh, here it is. black spot. Oh, you got it? I don't know. Did I? No. <laughs> Can anyone recommend the Batwing over the police station? Ooh, that is a... Uh... I think, don't think we're the right people to ask that. The bad I, thing is really cool. I think it depends on what your main thing is. If you're into displays, then I would go for the Batwing. If you like superheroes and displays, Batwing all the way. Especially, um, I don't know if it's easy to mount it so that you can see it like yeah. on the shelf like vertically. But yeah, uh, that looks really nice like that. So um, if you're into displays and superheroes, definitely the Batwing. If you really love cities and modulars and... You have other modulars in your collection, I would go for the police station. So I would also say that probably both sets are probably going to increase in value over time. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of good either way. Just depends on what your main game is when it comes to Lego. Mrs. Brickinit says that makes sense. We do that. Focus on the new stuff when it comes out. Your backlog is pretty epic. Some super sets in there. Yeah, I have pretty good taste in Lego, I feel like. So we've been collecting stuff for about three or four years now i got back into collecting in 2017 and we started out getting small stuff like people packs and the pizza van pizza truck stuff like that and those are really great but then our tastes got bigger and bigger and we started buying things and then once you're already collecting certain series a lot of you don't want to miss out so you kind of make sure you get it before it disappears gotta get all the fairground rides we had almost all the harry potter sets and then we bought the diagon alley but we didn't have the giant hogwarts castle yet and then we got that diagon alley and that was yeah. then the hogwarts castle was the only one we were missing for our collection it was just yeah, the goes. the only thing we didn't have so then we had to get that one and um for the past couple years, uh, Mr. Starbricks had a, a job that really had us traveling quite a lot. And we also did a lot of our own personal traveling as well. 
So we weren't really home that much to actually build the Lego sets that we were buying all the time. We were just traveling and even buying Lego sets on our travels sometimes and bringing them home. And now we have more time to build everything, so hopefully we'll get through it now. But uh, I did see a really nice comment from Ruth as well about how her live stream went. And that is okay. that she had a lot of fun. I built lots of friend sets and I made sure to remind everyone to pop over here once we finished up. Oh my gosh, that's so kind. Thank you, Ruth. That is so kind. I'm going to try to remind people to check out your stuff on Saturdays as well. I wish that um, there was a way to ha have me send over the people that are watching here. Because I really love your live stream so much. I'm pretty bummed that I missed it. I don't know. I'm kind of bad because I actually really like the girl live streams a lot. I don't know if that's weird. But I just, I enjoy her live stream. It's so calming and interesting. And there's always fun conversation on there. Oh, hi, Tanjam. Thanks for popping yeah, by. Here too, I see. Land of Sweet. Hi, Lando. How's it going? Potter Bricks. Hello. Just hi, guys. I have two more 2021 sets to build as I have built the Beskar Mando set, cool, Mahan, Tournament of Elements, and Han Solo Microfighter. Oh. I have the Vintage Car and Kai vs. Skulkin next. What are you feeling the most out of those sets so far, Mahan? How is the Tournament of Elements? Because we want to get that one and we haven't gotten it yet. And uh, which Golden Ninja does the Tournament of Elements come with? I think the Lloyd. That one comes with the Lloyd. Is that right, Mahan? Mahan will know. <laughs> a, he built it, and B, even if he hadn't built it, Mahan would still know because he's like the, the walking brick encyclopedia over there. <laughs> I hope you're feeling better, Lando. MJ Bricks, hello. Cabbage, Cabbage Face. Face, awesome. Hi, Cabbage Face. Great to see you. Cabbage Face is hilarious. You guys should check him out. He's got an amazing sense of humor, and he's a really nice guy, and I, I really like have a smile on my face when I watch his content, so... Definitely check him out, please. I don't know. I can't feature comments anymore, sadly, because we haven't figured out how to do that on the new setup yet. But hopefully we sound good. Mahan says he's going to get his Harry Potter book later. That's saying, something that, BFAB would say. Yeah, breaking it. He can feature comments. I'm sure we can figure something out. Which part, which part is something BFAB would say? Oh, then he's going to pop in here. Tanjam says, good morning, Mike and Sarah. Hello. Thank you so much for coming by. It's so kind. We missed and the madness last night. Or was Tanjam there? Were you there last was. night, Tanjam? Because it was pretty epic on the on the Brixie stream. It was an epic event. I will say crazy. that. That's one of the most crazy live streams I've ever seen in my life. I had, We were about to go to bed, and then the craziness of the Brixie stream started. That was amazing. <laughs> incredible. <laughs> so incredible. Adam, oh, hello, Adam. Thanks for coming by. Much appreciated. Adam wants to know how is everyone. We're doing great over here. It's just the weekend and we get to build some Lego, which is super exciting and fun. And we have our build cam set up so that you guys can see it. Land of Sweet says, I'm feeling much better. Thanks. You're so sweet, Lando. You're such a nice person. I only really hope that something amazing happens soon <laughs> for you. Aw. Mahan says, I like girl streams. That's what BFAB would say. Yeah, but I do like the girl streams a lot. There's a couple guys that I also prefer watching as well, but it's usually just people that are doing solo streams. And actually, so I'm trying couples. to think. Even the guys that we like watching, I think, have their ladies on quite a bit with them, their partners. It just makes it more fun to me. I don't know why. 50% of my viewers are actually females. So uh, people that aren't thinking that there are as many girls into Lego as there are guys. There are a lot of girls into Lego. And I'm also part of some online groups that are only for women. All about Lego. It's awesome. Oh, that's so convenient. <laughs> well, I'm not going to talk about it, but it's cool. The mute button? Yes. I'm feeling that. <laughs> Land of Sweet says, I'm down to do another LEGO Girl building stream soon. Yeah, that would be awesome. Maybe I should set one up because I really wanted to uh, to talk to Emily more a little bit when we were streaming the other day on London Bridge Bricks, and we didn't end up getting to have that much conversation because there were so many people on the panel. You were there, Lando. <laughs> but yeah, there was a lot of people there yesterday. Adora Build says, BFAB did pop into my stream for a little bit. Hmm. And she's laughing. King M, hello, King M. If I missed anybody, I do apologize very much. 
It's great Definitely. to see everyone in here, and this is actually a lot more convenient to see everything, I feel. So R asks, are you guys going to get the $800 Star Wars AT-AT? It was rumored to be a Death Star, and now there's rumors that it's a big AT-AT. I'm going to say, um, who asked that? Zarar. Zarar asked that. Zarar, I think that there is only one situation in which we might possibly purchase that. And it's probably unlikely that we will get it. But there's one scenario that I can think of that plays out that would potentially enable that to be a buy for us. Okay. But I can't reveal that at this time. Okay. I don't even know what you're talking about. I think you do if you if you figure it out in your head. Like if there's a way to get Lego sets for less in the future, potentially. Oh, okay. Then that might be a potential thing. Yeah, okay. Well, if you're getting if you're getting them for less, but it's it's unlikely though, an unlikely scenario. Yeah, exactly. But I would love to see someone else build that thing. It's going to be awesome. I'm not that much of a Star Wars fan, so I I like Star Wars as I as I have a Yoda sitting here, but I, I like Star Wars, but I'm not like a crazy Star Wars Lego fan. The problem with Star Wars Lego sets is that they're more display pieces than city sets and i really want to incorporate the lego into the city that i have so it's a little bit hard for me to justify buying a lot of ships and things like that when i don't have the space to display them properly especially larger sets like that yeah and if, I, if, if this is on par with like the star destroyer and the millennium falcon i would say that exactly. i would personally have the huh. a biggest interest in the millennium falcon over the yeah i agree I, Honestly, I kind of like the ATATs never... though. They're kind of cute. They're like little, yeah. they're like little dudes. I don't know. They're kind of cute. <laughs> they're fun, but though. they are kind of fun, especially think about if you put eyes on them. If you put like eyes on the ATATs face, they're kind of their visor is kind of like an eye. But I, I don't know what it is. They've never really been my my top favorite like Star ship Wars or like. Bad guy well, it's thing. more like a vehicle than a ship, right? Yeah, it doesn't is. fly. But yeah, um, I kind of like the the Death Stars too. I think I'd be down for like a big Death Star build. I think that'd be pretty cool to build one. But will I have the opportunity to build one in the future? I don't really know. I was actually mildly interested in the huge Death Star because if it's, <clears throat> I want to, I want one that is covered, so I could covered and then you can open it like a dollhouse style <laughs> instead of having all these or the last one the death star one that was open and you see all the little vignettes but the one that just like opens in the middle and then you kind of have all the stuff in the middle land of sweet agrees like... with me about star wars yeah i mean it's kind of like the bread and butter of most lego collectors i feel like so it's it's nice but i feel like it's not as it doesn't Mos have as much utility for me. Yeah, Moss Eisley was fun to build. And, I mean, it's Lego, so it's all, in my opinion, mostly fun to build. But What about R2-D2, the buildable R2? I do kind of... Part? I do kind of feel the R2-D2. The new one, I will have to look at and see what it looks like. Um, for the price, I felt like it was a little bit expensive, but people are telling me that that is a pretty good price for a newer version of the sculpted R2-D2. So I, I, I'll have to think about that one. May the 4th be with you. Get a promo with it, too. You Do you really? Yeah, you're getting the... Potentially, you're getting, like, mm. where Luke lives on Tatooine. Like the That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I do like the sculptures. I really did enjoy the the baby Grogu and the Yoda builds. They're pretty cool. And Tanjam says, I don't have a Death Star yet, so I'd be interested either way. Yeah, we don't have a Death Star either. But, like, there's rumors go, or there's, they're going to do the Republic gunship. No, that's not for us. Even the Nebulon frigate or the Tide drop ship, that, no. Mahan says, cute. Walkers that have lasers and shoot people to death and destroy an entire base? That's cute. Yes. yes. It's very cute. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like stuff like that. I don't know. I like stuff that's creepy and cute or, like, vicious and cute because I'm, I'm about that. <laughs> It's like a koala bear, Mahan. They're cute, but they're deadly. Exactly. Koala bears are vicious, man. But they're cute to look at. <laughs> I think most wild animals are like that. Like, what about a raccoon? Have you ever cornered a raccoon? They're real cute, but they can be real mean. 
Maybe we missed out on the buildable <laughs> pork. Would you like? Would, would you want it the, the buildable pork? Yeah, I, I I like the BB-8 too though. Mm, the buildable yeah. BB-8's pretty cute. I like the cute small stuff, and the BB-8 is kind of good for scale to go with the baby Grogu, which you guys can't really see because it's blocked by our build cam. But I'll just pull my my baby Grogu over here. But I feel like the BB-8 would be really good to go with this one. <clears throat> I'll just leave him here <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> Look, you guys can see him two times now on the build cam and also like up here. This is so weird. <laughs> At least there's no latency between the two cameras. That would have been awkward. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We have no picks for R2-D2, says Mahan, so I don't know what to say about that. I like Star Wars, but I'm a city guy, says Papa's, Papa's Bricks. Bricks. Hi, Papa. Papa, welcome. Hope you're having a great weekend. King M asked, did you have an impression for the two episodes of WandaVision? Oh, that's a great question. I was actually going to... No spoilers. No spoilers. But I was actually going to ask if anybody had watched WandaVision. Who had actually asked about King that? M. King M asked about WandaVision. I was going to ask about that. And uh, we watched it. It was different. <laughs> that's that's the easiest way I can describe WandaVision right now. It's very different. At first, I didn't really like what I was seeing, but it's kind of interesting. Um, I think that it won't be like the style that it was for very long. Yeah, you so, have to keep in mind, we have not watched any teasers or any trailers. So the only thing that we are presented with is the style of the first two episodes. And Yeah, and I mean... I won't, uh, yeah, Zarar says WandaVision was interesting. Yeah, without giving away spoilers, I don't know if saying it's in black and white for the first episode is really a spoiler. Nah, but It happens in the first five seconds. It's so. in black and white, the first episode, and it's kind of, I think each episode is going to go through decades in time and sort of simulate the sitcoms of that era. So it's pretty interesting, and I'm going to really enjoy when they, if they do 90s stuff, that'll be really interesting if they have a 90s episode where it's, It'll be funny if they do an episode that's like Full House yeah. because she's the younger sister of uh, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Elizabeth so. Olsen, yeah, yeah exactly. the main the main lady that plays Wanda, Wanda Maximoff. Maximoff. So it's definitely interesting. I'm not sure that it's the most exciting for Marvel fans, but we'll see. It, we'll give it some time to warm up. Yeah, that's mm. that's the thing with it as well. It's like they're kicking. So they're kicking off a new like streaming slash TV universe for MCU and this is kind of what they start with. It's kind of weird if you're expecting or anticipating like high octane action or something like that. It's, it, it's it would be It would be if like instead of Mandalorian that started in the first episode of like a bounty hunter, it would just be uh, the Bith Musician Band or something and we're just following their dream. <laughs> That's the first Star Wars TV show that you get and you're like, Wait a minute, this is not what I signed up for. It's not really bothering me too much, though, no, because it's face. kind of like, if you read comic books, comic books can be really weird sometimes, and they have a lot of different art styles and a lot of different alternate universes and weird things going on in the comic book world that if you like comic books, you might be interested in a show that's a little more like weird and out there. It's kind of mysterious, and it's just weird. Like I recommend people who haven't seen it yet to watch it. It's very weird <laughs> very weird hi will will I'm is sure here they connect it and tie it into the other stuff and the build up for brick, the face for brick connoisseur is here and mr blueberry toys hi nathan hi guys thanks for joining the live stream a full-on castle theme it's that would be cool they i think they're rumoring that they're going to do a classic castle though brett so look forward to that they said they were going to probably do an ideas castle set right uh there's an uh, ideas kind of castle at ten thousand. Like mm. the King of Eiffel Castle or something like that. And there's a creator three-in-one rumor to be a castle. Will we see something like what happened with Pirates of Barracuda Bay where you have a super big fire boat and then a smaller one, but we just don't know about the cooler castle yet? It would be cool. It would be great for them to, to co go back to castle and do like a Pirates of Barracuda style build steep with nostalgia and then do a uh, space theme again castle mocks are awesome as well says brick connoisseur yeah definitely i uh i would love to do a castle mock of my own because i have a couple things that i could use to do that like we got two mysterious castles it would be great to combine them and make it into something really neat 
And I also love all the Harry Potter Hogwarts pieces, because I feel like if you had a bunch of those sets in duplicate, you could also build something really cool, especially with the window pieces that come with those sets. They have really nice, really cool windows, and it's going to look really cool if you can use that. I think it was the Great Hall, actually, for the Harry Potter sets. That came with tons of really great pieces. So um, I would also not say no to a revival of the Middle Earth sets. Yeah, They're working I on agree. an Amazon series, so maybe in a year and a half they will make sets for that and bring Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit back. Cabbage Face says WandaVision will get better. Yeah, I think so too. I think you just have to be patient with it. Lucas says, hi, can I get a shout out? Sure, Lucas. Hi, Lucas. Thanks for, thanks for coming to the live stream. I usually do try to greet everybody that comes by. It's a little bit difficult when it's a lot of people. And I actually will remind people of the rules just in case. Rogue every Runner once here. In a while. Said, I don't think I've said hi to you, Rogue Runner. Or the Bricks. Yeah. Mr. Bear Toys. Hey, Nathan. Hi, Nathan. Just scrolling real quick. A lot of cool people in here. You guys are so awesome hanging out with on your weekend with us. Then uh, just a, a quick question for everybody. So you see we have a new setup. Are there any recommendations? Any things that you want us to change? I don't know how the chat really is. How cool is the chat there? Is that yeah, is I'm it not too sure. dark? Is it too hard to see? Should we remove and that? Also the chat is on top of our scrolling oh. modular police station. So well, I'm also it. not sure how that looks. I can fix that. We're tr still trying to figure out like a good way to set everything up. You don't have to mess with it too much right now, but we can get rid of the chat on screen or we can, I wouldn't put that up high though. I would leave it down at the bottom. Yeah. Just a little bit higher. Just really Oh, the chat. Higher. Yeah, that's fine to do the chat a little higher. That's a good idea. And then we're going to lock that again. Yep. All right, so now I should. Yeah, that's that better. There. Thank you so much. That's much better. You think there's better ideas? I think what we have, we have the, the logo, we have the viewers, so that's cool. Yeah, I want somebody to subscribe, but we don't have anybody new. If you subscribe, then something fun happens. I like that. I want to see if that works. Um, I don't know if that works automatically, though. I, mm, I don't know. Don't all unsub and then sub again. That's no, sad. don't do that, please. Lord of the Bricks says chat on screen looks great. Aw, thanks. I'll and maybe make the the, uh, the the opacity of the black a little bit darker so it's a little bit better to read. <clears throat> I think it looks pretty good, though. I don't want it to be too dark because then it like you can't see through it to see the stuff behind. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. And we can always toggle things on and off. Tangem says it's a little busy but not distractingly so. Good to have the face view and the build cam. Yeah, we had switched because when we first started doing live streams like eight months ago, Tanjam, I was only on the coffee table and only with the pieces, much like this. It was only hands and pieces only. And I did that for a long time because I wasn't sure if I wanted to show my face or not on camera. Mm, I didn't really know how I felt about that totally. So then we switched to doing the face cam only because it's more personal. And now people say that it might be nice to have a build cam too. So maybe both. Yes, I don't know. Works. Let's try things out, find find something that works. I agree, it is maybe a little bit busy. I think maybe we could get rid of the, this down here, maybe. The logo? Maybe, or put it up high, I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, maybe also the banner, because the banner is, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll play around. We can also turn it. the banner off for a little bit. Yeah, try it out. Because I can also have that in here. Where is the banner at? Uh, yeah. There you go. Maybe. So. That's to lock it, and then that's to hide it. Oh, yeah, so that's just off now. Will this go away? <laughs> uh, yeah, if you just click on here. <clears throat> oh, yeah, perfect. We'll play around with the settings and um, make things a little bit better. And maybe we'll have like a little border, color border every th for everything at the bottom. It's an experiment. And there's also sculptures on the table. And yeah, that's true. There's some extra things. We'll play around with it. I definitely prefer your faces to your knees i think we can much more enjoy your personalities coming through oh that's awesome thank you mrs Brickinet. and yeah i think it's important as well because i realized that the streams that i really liked watching the most you could see the people on the screens so i did have some people unsubscribe though when i first showed my my face on camera i was a little i was a little hurt the first time we did a live stream where we were actually on camera, I had like five people unsubscribe. It was kind of funny. I was like, oh, all right. You guys don't like my face. Mahan, <laughs> That's okay. I though. see Mahan put in a, a Spanish sentence there. 
What? Where? At the top. And he translated it at the bottom because of one of the rules. Wait, I can't talk in a ling- in a different language for comedic purposes? Um, yeah, a little bit is fine. It's mostly to prevent people from coming in here and spamming things that I really just can't understand at all Russia. in case it's bad. If I don't understand what it says, it's probably going to get hidden. Russia and Korea. A little bit of Spanish is also fine, Mahan, because I, I can understand and read Spanish. But uh, it's stuff that I can't understand what is being said that's the problem. That's why it's Dutch and English, because we can understand that. So if somebody writes something bad, we'll know. And it will get deleted. Some water? No, it's okay. Maybe in a little bit. Lando says, I enjoy watching people's faces in streams. It makes it more personable. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Bricken, it's that YouTube was at the same time just deleting some accounts that were subbed to you. That, that can happen. That's why you usually lose a lot of subs. I remember, wow, that makes me sound old. I remember the great purge of like 2011 or something where all of a sudden they did a whole wipe of inactive accounts oh, wow, and I really? lost like 150 subs Oh my subs gosh, or something. that's yeah. crazy. Oh geez. <laughs> great purge of 2011. That's nuts. I woke up one day, I was like, hey, wait a minute. Wait, that does make me feel gone. better though, Mrs. Bricken. It was kind of funny because I was just like, face reveal, unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh. I was like, oh. <laughs> but no worries. It's better to show yourself and, and be out there. I had problems with it in the past, just mildly in another community that we were a part of where people were like a little bit more mean about stuff. And I wasn't sure if I really wanted to subject myself to that because for me, Lego is just about having fun and being happy. And I didn't want to have any negative stuff attached to it. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but people have been nothing but nice, so no worries. A couple of questions. Tan Jam asks if the city gardens has been shipped. It has not. Still in the warehouse. It's an hour and a half drive away from here, but no, not yet. All our Lego stores here are closed because of a lockdown. Yeah. And um, Lando wants to hear some Dutch sentences. What and do you want to hear, Lando? Sarar, in Dutch. Sarar asks, "Hoe gaat jouw dag? Hoe gaat het met jou?" How is my day? Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good, Zerar. Thank you for asking. Bedankt. <laughs> is, is Nederlands itself als Duits? Is Dutch similar to German? Uh, yeah, I would say it's pretty similar, Anna. I would say that it's a pretty similar language to German. Now, Mr. Starbucks might disagree with me because no, he's actually close. Dutch. But it's for me, close. to me, it sounds pretty similar. Dutch and German sound really similar. And because I actually understand a lot more Dutch now... I, I can understand more German now, too, because if something looks similar to a word in Dutch, I kind of know what it is. It's it's similar, but it's not, like, identical. It's yeah. not like, uh, you know, uh, Although, it's more like Spanish and French or something like oddly, that. Oddly, it is pretty much identical to another language, and that language is called Flemish. Yes. And that's what they speak in Belgium, is Flemish. And that Flemish and Dutch are basically, like, different dialects of the same yes. language. So that's really that's weird and interesting. If you can speak Dutch, you can also communicate with the people in Belgium, Actually, unless know. they're speaking French. Actually, I don't know if Flemish is an officially recognized language or if it's just oh, really? a Dutch dialect. Oh, I'm I, sure I it must be a language. It officially Flams. Flams, yeah. Flemish. Adorabuild is good, just relaxing in the evening and enjoying the stream. Oh, 80s. Hi, 80s. Hi, hey, 80s. Lord of the Bricks is here too. Hi, Lord of the Bricks. Hey, Sarah and Mike. Do you guys have any advice about doing live streams? I was thinking about doing my first one here. I would say that your best bet for uh, live streams is to just jump into it. You know, you have to have a camera and I would make sure to set up your angle and make sure it's a good one. You can use StreamYard because that's easy to use. And free. And free for the first like 20 hours. And you could have like, guests on if you wanted to. Yeah, but I mean... I would say if you're not a big talker, you should do your first live stream with a friend or with somebody that you know in the Lego community that can also talk to you while you're building because it makes it more entertaining and there's more, like, you know, less dead space. If you do it all by yourself and there's not a lot of people in the chat at first, then it might be a little bit harder to uh, keep the conversation flow going. So I would say... That's a very good piece of advice is when you start and you don't have anybody there, don't oh. give up right away. Yeah, Sarah had like one advice. person in one or two people in the first 
three chats while exactly. we were building Pirates of Barracuda Bay. We started with such a big set, and it was like three hours of me talking to myself, pretty much, <laughs> while so we were building. It was so, yeah, yet. you have to keep up with it. And it's about having fun, so that's the most important part. Yeah, my throat is really groggy from waking up. We got we got up really late today. And Land of Sweet says, interesting, can you speak Flemish? I guess Mr. Starbricks can speak Flemish technically because he speaks yeah. Dutch. So they can I mean, communicate with each other, the, the Belgians yeah, I can, and the I can, I can speak to a, to a Belgian. I have a, we have a, at work, we have a couple of people in, uh, in, in Brussels, so yeah. I can speak to them. But the thing about Belgium is that some of the people speak Flemish and some of the people more so speak French, yeah, right? The, it's it depends like, on where like in Belgium you live. And then if you're in Brussels, it's like a, it's a mixture between everything. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't, I mean, if I were to try to speak Flemish, there's a couple of words that are Different. more used there than here, but it's more so, I, I, I would say it would be considered, especially in a professional setting, it would be considered rude if I try to, it's basically me trying to imitate someone. Hey, that's super cool. Tianjin says, I'm about 80% Dutch. Both my mom and dad's side are predominantly Dutch. Wow. That's cool. That's awesome. I didn't really know that much about the Dutch until I moved to the Netherlands. I'm just American. <laughs> my my background is like uh, Irish and French Canadian. And then I moved to the Netherlands and I've learned quite a lot about Holland, the Netherlands, the Dutch. <laughs> we were quite uh, quite the adventurers back. Oh, okay, that just fell off. <laughs> we were quite the adventurers back in the 1600s and went all over the world with trade and stuff. The so. Dutch people, yeah. yeah. Land of Sweet says, "I it's true. I think I need to relocate to England. And I didn't, don't think I got to say hi to Rogue Runner. Hi, Rogue. Yeah. Thanks for being here. And Tmog217 is here as well. Hey, Tmog. Tmog, how's that gardens built going for you? Yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. I, I wanted to pop in and watch a little bit of your live stream, but I think there was like five streams going on at the same time the other day, so I couldn't, unfortunately. Oh, the, the crazy <clears throat> Thursday madness. Yeah, that was just a million people like streaming all at the same time. It was really crazy. Tmog wants to know if we like the set so far. Yeah, I really like it more than I thought I was going to, but it is. Uh, it's cool. Yeah, it's going well. It's a cool build. The other piece, the bottom piece, is off somewhere else because we finished the bottom floor already. Otherwise, we don't have space to build here. Tmog is seven hours into Ninjago City Garden. Still a lot of bags to go. Yeah, there's like 18 bags or something, right? 26. Oh, 26. Oh my gosh, 26 bags. That's sick. That set is so huge. I can't wait until we get ours. That's crazy. When will there be a Q&A stream to better know you two, better communicate? Uh, ooh, that's a good question. Uh, we kind of just chit-chat about all kinds of things. Not too many questions all at once here, but maybe uh, oh, yeah. yeah i Fire mean people kind of just talk about things in the live streams and maybe maybe if i reach a thousand subscribers and i can put a community post out i'll let people post questions and then i'll make a video about it but as you can see i have a subscriber bar down below and i'm still trying to reach a thousand subscribers so we're still working towards that goal for the channel <laughs> it's going well though and tangem says my lineage came to the u.s in the late 1800s. That's pretty cool. How long have you lived in the Netherlands now, Sarah? Asks Mrs. Brickinett. I have lived here for, um, I guess, I, I keep saying three and a half, but it's more closer to four and a half years now, I guess, yeah? Because mm -hmm. I'm just about done with my five-year visa. So mm -hmm. when I moved yeah, it's, here... It's four years in April. It's four years in April, yeah. yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Your visa was issued and then... And then I was still staying in the U.S. a little bit, yeah. So um, I guess it's about four years, which is a long time. I should know more Dutch by now, but that's okay. I had to take uh, civic integration exams. You're supposed to complete those within the first three years of living in the Netherlands if you're from outside of the country and you're not part of the European Union. So I had to take, like, tests about listening skills, speaking skills, reading, writing, all kinds of tests. So I studied a lot of Dutch before I took those and my Dutch is okay, but it's not really up to par. But luckily a lot of people here speak English. So it's nice because if you speak English to somebody, they will speak English to you. So it's not so difficult living in the Netherlands if you're an English speaker as opposed to 
France or something, somewhere where they are not as favor favorable towards English. <clears throat> but I'm sure I'm sure Mrs. Brickenet probably already knows that. She's quite the world traveler herself, so she probably already knows, but for the other people out there, they are uh, they're they're big English speakers in the Netherlands in, in the major cities. So it's not so bad. This is a little hole. And then he could probably steal the donuts. Yeah, let's beat that. Oh, BFAB. Hi, BFAB. English speaker BFAB has arrived. Hi, BFAB. Let's <laughs> <laughs> Let me wrap up this bag and then we can take a turn. I'll make some water. Good idea. Oh yeah, see, this didn't actually work. This wasn't automatic. So I don't know if there's a way to refresh this or if that doesn't work, uh, huh? Maybe not that one. Oh. Huh? Maybe not that one. Why? That's somebody's real name. Oh. But it didn't work. I mean, I assume that's a real name. I think so, yeah. Did you just subscribe to me, BFAB, from another channel? I think you did. And it's actually unfortunate because I have a subscriber thing that comes off. And my thing doesn't even update, but that's okay. I think it's broken. But I wouldn't show that though. But yeah. Maybe it's private. <laughs> no, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, hi, Shy. Thanks for coming by. Hope you're having a good weekend so far. Yeah, there's like a little mini feed here in. But it doesn't update. It's not updating. I don't know. I guess we're going to have to do some research on it. I'm not really sure why it doesn't update. <laughs> That's awesome. I lived with some Dutch people in an international setting, says Mrs. Brick in it. I loved it. They got the British sarcasm that not everyone else did. Yeah, the Dutch are very, like, very blunt people. So... You can be, you can be, uh, you can be a lot more direct with the Dutch. I guess we're going to have to figure that out. To no worries. It's not a big deal. I just wanted to show my dancing cat. You can still show it if you want. Can I just push this? No, you can do it here. And, yeah, click on this one. I just wanted to show my, my dancing cat, although it's kind of covered up by the chat, but we have a little cat. <laughs> A little sound. I just subscribed to myself. No, not really. <laughs> just a test button. <laughs> That's so cute, though. <laughs> we have to figure that out. I love the dancing cat. Of course, donations. That's not a thing yet. But... No, no. That's funny though. I like I like the dancing cat. <laughs> Paris Cam. Bfab says I have only two accounts that I use to watch content. My personal one and. Lego. Good to know. But the, the subscriber count. The subscriber does thing go did up. update, yeah. So that actually did update. So the count goes up, but not the actual animation when somebody subs, huh? That's pretty cool. I like that. Or, well, no, because you got a notification. Because you have public and private subscriptions, but if you got an email from it, then it should have kind of popped up. Right? Hi, Broxy. Land of Sweet says, I feel like overseas people learn more than one primary language compared to the States. That is correct, Lando. Although I will say that when I lived in the U.S., I did take a lot of Spanish in high school. And when I went to university, I also took Spanish. So my Spanish is pretty decent just from my U.S. education. But I do think that it's more important when you're living overseas. And the reason for that is because the U.S. is so large. And you're also bordered by Canada, which is also primarily English-speaking. So I feel like it's not as stressed when you live in the U.S. to learn other languages, whereas in Europe, everything is so much smaller. Like, the countries are more like states in a way. So your neighbor next door, you know, speaks Italian or German or French or Romanian or, you know, all kinds of different languages. Dutch. The language of the internet. So it's, uh, it's very important for people living in Europe to at least master pretty, pretty well their English. It's like a universal language and also anything else that they can learn because everybody's so close by. So I think it just makes more sense, I guess. It's like if the state of Alabama was next door and they speak a totally different language there, it would be a little more important than to learn more languages in the U.S. But everyone mostly speaks English a lot 
or Spanish, Spanish and French, which is what they teach mostly in the high schools is the languages you would use the most. But yeah, they, uh... Sarah's is wrecking everything. Yeah, she's tearing up the couch. I recommend getting a thing of hot water and dipping his finger in it. I think BFAB wants brick in it to pee his pants, <laughs> to, to wet the bed. BFAB. That's what happens if you stick your finger in warm water while you're sleeping, right? I then you so. then you wet the bed. That's mean, BFAB. You want to go with bag eight? Yeah. While I go acquire us some water. Broxy says, I speak Italian. <laughs> and Lando says, yeah, yeah, go Paris. I'll mute it so I can open up the bag real quick. There we go. You guys might hear our uh, sparkle water maker or, or Mr. Sharbrick's pouring out some water in the background there. No worries, though. Where's the page for this? Huh? Oh, never mind. I see. It's like right over here. No worries. <laughs> Lando says, BFAB, if I had ice cold water, I'd throw it on you to wake you up if I was your mother. Oh my gosh. You guys are crazy. BFAB says, are you sure about that stuff? It would be the best prank ever. And Steph says, no, it wouldn't. I would be the one who'd have to sort it out. <laughs> She'd probably have to be the one doing the laundry and cleaning up the mess. That does not sound like a fun fun prank. <laughs> Aw, poor Chris. That's so mean, BFAB. Did someone do that to you when you were a kid? I always wondered if that actually really worked. Does it? Have you ever known anybody who had that happen? Try it. I'm not gonna try that. Gross. Would you be mad if I tried that on you? Uh, I think you would be. Uh, I think you would be the one that would be mad because uh, you know you sleep next to me in the same bed. So. Ooh. BFAB says he expects an epic prank soon. Oh, thank you for the water. That does help. Of course. Ah, refreshing. There we go. I'm back to. Good to know. Chat duty for me for a little while. Good idea. Look. You can also, I don't know if you can read it from there. Yeah, I can read oh, it from perfect. there too, but at least now I can scroll up, so I'm going to go back. That's to fair. Open, build, repeat. Can we say hi to you, Irvin? Hi, oh, Irvin. Sorry. If we miss saying hello to you, apologies. Thanks for being here. Adorable says the dancing cat is adorable. Yes, thank you, Ruth. I love my dancing cat. I don't really know how to use all the stuff that I have at my disposal to use yet, but we're always improving things and trying things out. So that's the benefit of uh, having your significant other in the tech industry because you get to try out all kinds of fun, weird, different things, which is cool. Exactly. We'll mess around with that so it just pops up from time to time. Keeping the stream classy. Mm -hmm. Keeping it fun. We're all about the fun. Just putting my windows together. Apparently there already was a prank on the brick and the stream on Tuesday. What kind of prank? I don't know. Mrs. Brickman says, what, did you not see my prank on Tuesday's live stream? <laughs> and she also says, the dancing cat definitely fits your channel. Oh, awesome. thanks. Yeah, I, I guess if I line myself up properly, like, and lower, if the camera's up higher, then it looks like I have cat ears from my pillow. Mm. And I also have bunny ears on the back of my chair, so I'm, I'm definitely all about the cute stuff. Need a little dancing star. Yeah, maybe that would be the, uh, if we do donations or something like that or, or if we make a graphic i don't know if you can make your own and incorporate that yeah you can that's pretty cool 
kind of want to have like a scene transition so if we change the camera there's like a little swipe effect or something but wow we're fancy. playing around with mm -hmm. things i'm not a great graphical designer so that's okay. i'm also a back-end technology type person that can know how to set things up but not make it look great that's all right the chop teacher says oh yeah that's what you read is you need a little dancing star but yeah we'll play around with things it's uh bfab do you know how to swim once in the lord of the bricks to bfab why do you ask me that if he knows how to swim? Okay. Seems like a very random question, Lord of the Bricks. Sarar has to go. Great stream. Hey, thanks, Sarar. Have a great rest of your weekend, and we'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. It's always a pleasure. The chat told me to hide a piece, and I managed to get the last piece without <laughs> realizing. That's hilarious. Lord of the Bricks says, thank you, Sarah and Mike. For the advice about live stream by the way yeah no problem if you have any other questions let me know it's pretty easy i'm not a pro at live streaming or setting up live streams but i have been doing it for a while so i guess in that way it kind of makes me a little bit knowledgeable about it and i'm happy to help if i if i can you know i'm on discord and i know that you are already a part of the discord server lord of the bricks for others who may not be part of the discord server that is the link to the discord which hopefully works if you're interested in joining the discord server for the sarah starbricks community people have conversation in there talk about lego and it's pretty relaxed the rules are pretty similar to how they are in the chat just keep it family friendly and you can actually self-promote a little bit in the in the server you can post your videos post your photos share your anything you want to so as long as it's appropriate thomas is back hi thomas welcome back the discord server is a lot of fun how would you know just kidding. Yeah, I'm not actually part of it. <laughs> You're not actually in the Discord server because you don't really use Discord. It is it is kind of like space taking on your phone. I will say that it, if you have like, uh, if you don't have unlimited, it does take up a lot of your data. I've heard that from other people. Still not shit. Aw, why does our Ninjago City Gardens take so long to come? That's lame. BFAP says, I always self-promote on Sarah's Discord. Yeah, I like it though. It makes it easy because I can just scroll through that like, share your content section and just click random stuff and it's cool i know they used to have it in your analytics where you could see how much of your traffic came from discord i don't know if they still have that though because last time i was checking i couldn't actually find any discord stuff but i think it's pretty nice i mean there's like a hundred people in my server at least so it's a good way to get more people to watch your videos or be aware that you've posted something somebody asking about osiris uh this stream is so amazing says bfab staring into the eyes of the gorgeous owl yes <laughs> we want to get a special like area for him to be permanently like behind us or oh, over here maybe kind of yeah. Yeah, there, no, we want to get like a shelf for him to sit upon because he is the mascot of the channel he's the the magnificent osiris lando asks ever wanted to wake up and want like 10 kittens to snuggle in bed uh definitely lando <laughs> all the time probably every morning of my life that would be amazing to have a bunch of kitten snuggles i wish my cat would snuggle me more but she's kind of mean sometimes she's older so she's like leave me alone <laughs> give me my food she's pretty horrible <laughs> nowadays she comes into the bedroom like when we're trying to sleep and then she just meows real loud into your <laughs> ear multiple times and you're like oh, she no used way. to be such sleep. a good cat and now she's gotten so bad <clears throat> she wants her food so yeah she does and now she had her food and she's just over there on the couch just ignoring us sleeping such a jerk <laughs> She's a mean little Yeah, cat. the tree looks nice. Just kidding. But oh, thank yeah, you. We'll, we'll, you know, maybe next weekend or something. We'll see. Yeah, by the end of January, it'll be gone. So I can be having a Christmas tree in February, but yeah, January's can, still uh, fine. Tuck things a little bit more to the to the right or your left on the screen, and then uh, maybe we'll we'll have a little, a little, bit. little shelf there in the corner. Yeah, it's also exactly. where our, our heating is. A little shelf, and then we can put some stuff, things on it. But yeah, we already had those two kittens for two days. Uh, I don't think I could handle ten, though. 
Lando says, yeah, you don't need an alarm clock if you have a cat. She she didn't used to do that, though. She used to be really good. Like, she never made a lot of noise. And she was always really well behaved. And then all of a sudden, she just... It's because I don't know. we started going to sleep later because of the situation. I have to retrain her, I guess. It seems to me like she started doing that when we went to sleep at like late at night, like three a.m. She's like, "Hey, you guys have like, been hey, in bed morning. enough. Hey, get it's up. Breakfast time. Come on, get up. <laughs> it's it's time to be awake." Yeah, Mrs. Brickman says, "Makes me laugh." And Paris pushes Mike out and sits on his chair. Yeah, yeah, she, she does. doesn't do that right now, <laughs> but uh, yeah, she does that all the time. I don't know why uh, <laughs> she was laying in it here earlier, but uh, yeah, she is kind of crazy. It's time for you to leave, but then I she mean, she sits on my lap. I can't do anything. To be fair, though, she has been my little partner for a lot longer than than you have. Paris has been in my life for almost sixteen years, so that's quite a long relationship. Sixteen years together, and Mr. Starbricks has only been around for like five, six, five, uh, yeah. five, six, five. Five, five and a half. Five and a half. All right. <laughs> yeah. I think next month is when we start chatting online. Six years. But November is when our anniversary is. Yep. At least our first anniversary. Yeah. Well, both of our anniversaries. Well, I meant because most people's anniversary is the day that they get married, but we're not oh, married yeah, yet, so. No. I don't know actually how that works. Like. To those of you out there, in the same, in the, like, to in the, the to those of you who are out there and who are married, like, do you still count your relationship anniversary, like the the anniversary of when you became boyfriend and girlfriend, once you get married, or is that anniversary no longer important and it only matters your marriage anniversary? Like, if anybody is married out there in the chat, let me know because how that works. Because I actually don't know. I've never been married before, so I really don't know. How Lord that of works. the Bricks says, sounds like an amazing five and a half years. And I can tell you that there were definitely some tough times when you're doing a long distance relationship from Amsterdam all the way to Seattle. That's a nine hour time difference. And we did that for at a least year a year and a half. half. Yeah. And that cost a lot of money to see each other as much as we could with international flights. But, uh, yeah, and I couldn't really have a normal job during that time either, yeah. which was a little bit unfortunate. But it's all worked out now. So. Hey, Tayshawn. Tayshawn Harris is oh, here. Oh, hi, Tayshawn. Thank you so much for coming by the stream, and I hope you're having a really wonderful weekend so far. Caught you building the Pirates of Barracuda Bay on your channel. That looks, it's a fantastic set. That's a really cool set. Yep. Really cool that you have that. That's <laughs> uh, Tayshawn says, uh, I've never been married before either. <laughs> I'm, I'm only 14. 14. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. I've never been married. Oh, no I worries. Know how that works. We have all types of age ranges in this chat here. Yeah. No worries at all. There will be a time for that as well. <laughs> Later in life. Yes. But yeah, that, that long distance was, uh, was, was, was challenging. It was kind of fun though. Like it's kind of cool to get to go see the person that you haven't seen in a really long time, and you get to like ride on the plane. And then when you're sitting on the plane, the people next to you are like, "What are you flying for?" And you're like, "I'm gonna go see my my boyfriend." You know, they live far away. <laughs> it's kind of fun and exciting. You have no idea how bad I, like, when I know she was flying in, or when I know she was flying in here, how hard it was to go to sleep. And then stand at the airport and of course I show up like an hour and a half <laughs> earlier and then a flight is delayed. And then you stand there behind and you can kind of see flights going, is this, is, is this the one? And then you see her walking, but you can't go there because she has to pick up her bag and you just stand there for like 30 minutes waiting for the luggage to work. Oh yeah, like, you can see me through like the little glass window, yeah. right? And like then you're just picking up my baggage. Like, at least we could chat if, if the yeah. uh, Wi-Fi was working, but... Ooh. Uh, Tayshawn asks, do you use a microphone for your streams? And that's actually the white little ball you see there. This is actually my microphone, my, my microphone, Tayshawn, and it's a really good one. So you can tell that the audio quality is probably pretty good, probably a little less so for Mr. Starbucks because yeah. he's much further away from the microphone, but where I am, you can talk really close and quiet or you can stay far away, and the audio quality is pretty good. So it's the, uh, the blue snowball, and it's a pretty affordable microphone for starting out in live streaming or making video content, I would say. If you're yeah. interested in upping the quality of your streams, I think this was only 
like $50 yeah, or something. Maybe it's now because everybody wants expensive. microphones, it's maybe a little bit harder to get, but it's like $50, $60. This is the entry level one, the blue is the brand and then Snowball is the brand. You yeah, see a lot have... of people have the more rectangular egg shaped ones. Those are the blue Yetis. Uh, those are $150. There's more mechanical stuff in there to make it better, but mm -hmm. you'll see those a lot on people's streams. I think yeah. uh, Cy has one, Cy O'Connor has one, uh, Brixie is using one, uh, Steve well, Reynolds. Have to name all the names of well, all the people I'm just thinking them. of yeah. who has on there. That's fine. I don't know if it's actually that appropriate to keep naming specifical names, but there are a lot of people who use them. Correct. There are a lot. But you could use anything that you want, right? You can... Yeah. yeah. I, I like this one, though. The quality is pretty good. And uh, Lord of the Brick says, Sarah, I like celebrating the anniversary date of when you start dating, but I've never been married, only engaged for a little while, so I can't really say about having two anniversary dates. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't really know how that works. It seems weird to celebrate one day for like five years and then just throw it away and celebrate a totally different day, but I'm not really sure how that works. And Deshaun asks, who is the one who moved? So Sarah moved from the Amer from the United States to here to the Netherlands. Yep. Uh, so I'm American and now I live in the Netherlands yeah. or Holland. It was a little bit easier as. because I, had a, I already have a pretty decent job here. I probably could have moved to the same company there, but the area that Sarah was in in Seattle is extremely expensive so yeah we figured and she wanted to come back to Europe for a little while um, to just check it out and maybe in the future we'll go back but for now we're staying right here I like it here though I think ideally it would be really cool to have a house in both places I mean it would be really nice to be able to see my family more because that's the only really big downside of it but I already lived far away from my family for many years so I was already kind of used to not being super close to my family they lived on one side of the United States and I lived on literally the complete furthest away opposite end of the U.S. They were in Florida and I was in Washington State and outside of Seattle. So those are really far away from each other. Yeah. Um, so I was already kind of used to being a little bit distanced from them, but it does make it a lot harder to see them on a more regular basis when you're not in the country. We have the awesome Doc Sands in here and the awesome SoCal Bricks here. I'm both oh, waking up just awesome. over there. Hi, Doc. Hi, SoCal. Lando would love to be one of your bridesmaids. Give Sarah Aww. a reason to visit. Oh, that's so kind, Lando. I don't know that we're going to have a big giant wedding, but I'll keep that in mind in case I do need some bridesmaids. That's very sweet, and you would look really pretty as a bridesmaid. I would be honored to have you as a bridesmaid. That's awesome. And uh, Lord of the Breaks so asks cool. uh, how the Netherlands is right now. It's uh, close to freezing. It's <laughs> kind of... And it's on lockdown too. <laughs> Wet, snowy. Uh, around this time, it's not the nicest place to visit. You're much better off to actually go to a very snowy area like Switzerland. I wouldn't Switzerland. say it's snowy here. You said it's wet and snowy. It started to snow here Well, today. there's nothing that sticks to the ground. Exactly. I used to live in Ohio. And so when people say snowy, I think like snow up to the knees. It doesn't really snow here. I mean, it's... It's like the evaporating snow. It's not really like snowy. <clears throat> but it's wet and cold. And Tayshon asks uh, what website we're using to stream. So before we were using StreamYard, that's very co popular. Uh, you can have guests on. I, I think you're using that too. Yeah, but now we're trying out Streamlabs yeah. real quick. So, so what we're works. using now is actually not a website. It's a, it's a program. It's called Streamlabs OBS, uh, which uh, you know allows you to do all this stuff. It's a little bit difficult to set up. You need to have a pretty decent computer, PC, or Mac to run it. Otherwise, it can't. So we're actually using my laptop instead of Sarah's because it's not powerful enough to yeah. run it. Yeah, my laptop is only a MacBook Air, and you really have to have a really strong computer to run these types of programs. Mm -hmm. So my computer does not like it. So Cal Briggs with the uh, comment about Holland has the best cheese. Don't get her started on it. There's only like one type of cheese here. They don't even have normal cheddar cheese here. So people always think that there's really good cheese here, but really there's only one kind and that's just the Gouda or Gouda. Um, Cause they don't say Gouda. Apparently that's a whole thing. The Dutch Gouda. say Gouda, Gouda cheese. But yeah, the Gouda is like the only thing that they have here. Um, I can't get Monterey Jack. I can't get provolone. I can't get cheddar cheese. I can't get, I mean, there's like a million different types like the, the the mixes of like Tex-Mex cheeses, really hard to find here as well. You can find it sometimes, but it's pretty difficult to find normal, what I consider normal cheese in this country. 
It's actually easier in England and also in France to get normal cheese. But in the Netherlands, they're like almost like discriminatory against cheeses that are not sourced from inside of their own country. It's, it's only it's only the Dutch cheese. It's kind of like uh, champagne. You can only call it champagne if it comes from the champagne region in France. And that's the same with the, the cheese here. It can only be called that way yeah. if it comes from certain officially approved places and so it's, it's kind of tough because i know in the u.s like it's like ooh, it's dutch cheese it's gouda but when that's the only thing that you can eat then you're like all right now i would like some other cheese please like but i told her when she first came here i said we have young gouda medium gouda herb old gouda. gouda gouda with like spices in them and then she was like no but that's all gouda that doesn't count it's all gouda i've opened my eyes to all the different cheese types in the world uh, and that's it's true. I, I wish that we would have an easier way of getting, uh, you know, some. Of yeah, the Land of Sweet says I can hook you up with some cheese. I live in the dairy state yeah. and famous for cheese. Yeah, exactly. Like there's some good cheese in the U.S. Even like the Amish cheeses and the the Colby and stuff like that. Like I miss like some just normal Colby Jack, you know, Monterey Jack. There's tons of cheeses. I've even started to forget the names of my favorite cheeses because it's been so long since I can buy them and eat them. So Cal Brick says, marriage is awesome. I'm a few months shy of oh. celebrating 25 years Oh my years gosh. Of marriage. Congratulations. That that's awesome. That's amazing. Wow. And Lord of the Bricks definitely has the Netherlands on the travel list. It's never been outside of the country. It's it's a really, it's a small country. You can really tie it in well with a visit to Belgium as well. Uh, you could probably spend like two or three days here while you also go to other places in Europe, like Paris, London. Uh, of course, now it's a little bit difficult, but I'm sure it will resume in some point in time. There's a lot of quaint cities, small village types with like more traditional style. And then there's Amsterdam, of course, which is also cool in itself. Mrs. Brickinit also mentioned something that we do here. Uh, sprinkles on toast for breakfast. The hagel slach. Hagel hagel slach. Yeah, <laughs> it's like chocolate sprinkles that just go on the bread. Exactly. It's it's basically like a poor man's donut. So <laughs> let me tell you like my opinion on this because in I just feel like why would you not just eat a donut? Hey, Sorry. It's Sorry. like a piece of white bread and then you put a whole bunch of butter on it and you put chocolate sprinkles all over the toast and you bite it so the butter kind of Mix or colorful fruity sprinkles as well. The butter, the bread, and the sprinkles kind of like mush together. And it tastes sort of like a donut to me, but like a really poor man's donut. <laughs> so I'm just kind of thinking, why would you not just eat a donut? Yep. Just just have donut shops. But they didn't really have donuts here that often, right? Like donuts well, is more of a recent thing here. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts opened up a chain here as well. And... It's just weird though. It's mm -hmm. really weird. I don't understand why you wouldn't just get donuts but hey the netherlands hey, is a weird way, place <laughs> it's cool though and there's a lot of cool and good things about it too it's just hard when you're used to things that you like and they aren't really there anymore let for me you. put it in the chat how we how we say it. yeah the h-a-g-e-l-s-l <laughs> Hagelslach. It literally <laughs> means hailstorm. So you have this little box and you pour it out. It kind of looks like hail, like uh, the weather, like on the pellets of hailstorm. And chocolate sprinkles. Uh, you also have the flatter, longer chocolate strips. Those are the chocolate flocken. And then you have the colorful, fruity ones as the, well. The best thing about the Netherlands is definitely the strope waffles. The strope waffles is where it's at here. Those are such a yummy snack, and they are becoming more popular in the U.S. now, but those are good. Those are really nice. I have to make boxes to send to people when we go visit the U.S. again. I definitely want to send some people some some strope waffles. Strope waffles is where it's at. Land of Sweet says, I love sprinkles. I like sprinkles on donuts, but I wouldn't recommend eating it just on a piece of bread. I don't, I don't really like bread that much either, though, so it's probably, I don't know. It's just kind of a weird thing, in my opinion. Especially to eat for breakfast. It doesn't really seem the healthiest to me to eat a pile of sprinkles and butter and bread. It's well, it's good for your, um... I, I'm, I'm feeling the English breakfasts more. The English breakfast is more savory, and I like that better. So I'm feeling the English breakfast more than the Dutch, the Dutch breakfasts. 
English and American is, is where it's at. What's that? Oh, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, it seems like some kind of, uh, I don't know if that's like a bot or something. Thank you. <laughs> Mahan got it too. That is Thank the. You. I think that, that was <laughs> the first, the first one. time. That is the first. Like, oh boy. <laughs> that is the first mean person or hateful person. Wow. It's you we know you know you're making it when when people start being hateful. You, I think you no, know you're only on the mods way. could have seen that. That was uh, you know. That's that's very interesting. That Somebody wrote nice. a, a very not nice comment in the in the chat and they've been timed out, which you guys didn't get to see because it was helpful for review. But yeah, it wasn't was, super bad or anything. But no, it's but not it's not very, very nice. nice though. You shouldn't say that to anybody ever didn't have any bad words in it but it was not a nice sentiment to express no worries no Assume worries says waffle house is where that i've never been to waffle house i've also never been to the ihop but we've been to some like local uh, uh, breakfast places and have like a stack of american pancakes yeah i like hotel breakfast i definitely like to have a big pile of waffles Thanks, uh, Mahan and Beef for taking care of Yeah, that. thank you very much. That's uh, that's exactly the type of stuff I really kind of wanted to avoid. But I guess if you have a little more visibility in any community, that's that's the type of thing you're going to attract. We have Scalador here. Uh, Hi, Scalador. Uh, how do you call it? The, the snake uh, worship, worshipping to the snake. Yeah, snake worship. He taps 48 mm. hours. Game. You have to worship the snake. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. You have to worship the snake. <laughs> there, we've done our snake worship for the day. <laughs> you must worship the snake, the serpent, when when Scalador arrives. It's like a rule. Mm -hmm. You must do it. Oh yeah, exactly. Atayshon mentions that uh, you know he asks his dad about the microphone, and sometimes your your uh, your Air AirPods or like your earphones they come with a built-in mic for speaking mm -hmm. that, that, that is a good start i mean yeah it is a good start but definitely if you have like a birthday coming up or christmas or something you can definitely ask for a, a snowball a blue snowball mic because like i said the quality on this is pretty pretty great in my opinion for the price that you're paying it's not bad we have the daily brick here and we have fubuki here as well hi lex awesome. hi fubuki We're both standing by thank as you, you can so see much. we have a new setup for now with the build cam and the fancy graphics that's pretty cool yeah it's fun 28 people here wow that's, that's awesome we have a subscriber goal because sarah <laughs> hopes to get to that thousand at some point yes and yes Fubuki, you're joining and we are snake worshiping yeah we were all inspired by bfab's 48 hour live stream with the snake worship <laughs> that was fun live stream though the snowball microphone i'm gonna look it up right now on amazon the price or yeah, the availability i, I think yeah. it's it's like 55 dollars or something oh that's not bad Believe just make sure you look it up on the u.s amazon yes. yeah oh geez snake warships says lando there's a white one and there's a black and color zoom's gonna go bye chris he says just popping through for zoom jr and i are about to head out bye chris have a great weekend enjoy the outing with your son Thanks for coming by. It's always I much don't know appreciated. How long that shows up, but it's the blue snowball mic. It no, says don't do that. It's seventy fine. <laughs> seventy dollars on Amazon right now. Oh, I think seventy. You can find it cheaper, but I would check Best Buy and like Walmart yeah, and stuff like Best that and Buy. see if they sell something like that there. But yeah, or look for a sale. Exactly. It's a little more expensive than I remembered it being, but it is a nice microphone though. Oh yeah, here it's it's. Here it says it's fifty-five dollars on Best Buy. So okay, so Best Buy fifty-five dollars for Definitely those of you who are in the U.S. Look around where you are, save some of that money. Because I know Tayshawn is doing a really good job knocking it out of the park with doing the live streams already. You already have like a really good crowd, Tayshawn. So I can totally understand when you're already doing well to make some improvements on it. Always improving is great, and he does a great job already. He's very polished and professional. Yeah. Already, Except, yeah, no, you're doing great. Are yeah, vlogs are good. The streams are good. Good job. Uh, Lando, I don't think BFAP can actually do that. Um, when uh, you stream for more than 12 hours, YouTube has no way of actually putting that live. You have to split them up in under two 12 hours streams. Or clip it. Otherwise, I don't, I don't know if BFAP can actually download the stream and then would be able to edit it. I, I don't think that's possible. Is she talking about those clips from the, from the yeah, really she, long she one? Yeah, she loves No, no. <laughs> Sorry, that's probably gone. 
I'm sad, but I'm so super glad that we were there to witness that because that was one of the best live stream moments I've ever seen in my life, for sure. That live stream of BFABs was just like one of the best live streams I've ever been And you have to of. keep in mind, it's funny for us to watch, but it's super embarrassing for Tech himself. That's true. So. I'm glad for him. I mean, yeah, I'm also glad that that's not out there for all of exactly. all of the world to In see five forever. years, he wants to, like, uh, do a job interview And someone can find and that. like, hey, we looked at this channel. We saw you, like, what's up with this? And now, no, we it, wasn't bad, no, it, it wasn't that bad, though. It wasn't that bad. You make it sound really bad. It wasn't that bad. It was just funny. But exactly. Yeah. They, they don't save it. So you really, you, if you do a long stream, you can split it up yourself and just be like, hey, guys, you have to go to the other one. Otherwise, it loses. So... That's why we want to stay under the 12 hours. Oh, yeah, I realize I'm actually building kind of far we're away. We're going to do in two weeks, right? We're going to do a 12 hour or an eight, at least eight. Maybe. I think Probably so. Eight, I don't know. I but mean, 12, we're going to try on a Saturday to, to do a really long one. In two weeks. We're still plan. This is why we're trying this out to make sure this all is stable and works. And then we're going to do some some fun things, you know, some quizzes, maybe uh, some uh, some giveaways. Definitely some giveaways. Gotta do giveaways during long live streams yep. for sure. Some gift cards. And yes. Stuff like that. And yeah, the stream yard caps you at 20 hours a month. So that is a little bit difficult. So that's why, we, you know. We're looking into other sources. Of streaming three streaming. times a week. We're, we're looking around. I, I'm mm -hmm. not going to recommend to do this or try that to make another stream yard account. And no, I, I don't. Do I, that. I wouldn't do that. I'm not sure if you can get in trouble for that. And, and maybe get now. banned. Yeah. So. I would not recommend that either. But I think you can also just stream directly onto YouTube. But I've never really tried that out where you just go in, go live on YouTube itself. You just connect your webcam to YouTube. I, I, I've never tried that. I'm making my progress on my... Lord of the Bricks asks if we're going to have guests on that long stream. That is mm. hard to say because yeah, if we're using this... I don't know how, to, do how to set up the audio from somebody else, maybe through Discord or, or a Zoom call. But what's uh, that? Hmm? What is that? That little thing that's that dancing up. thing. Yeah, it wants to. It's totally fine, but I'm just wondering what it actually is. Yeah, it wants to uh, update the uh, text processing. Thing. Oh, okay. Uh, Lana nice. Sweet says, once I get my Disney castle or the blacksmith, then we should do a build stream together. I okay. Think that would be a yeah, that idea. would be fun. And Scalder is actually building the UCS Yoda uh, that is on the desk right now. Oh, nice. Yeah. How are you feeling about it, Scalador? It's kind of a weird build. I liked building the lightsaber. It reminded me of when I built some Harry Potter wands. It's pretty interesting. I like these sculptures quite a bit. And Mrs. Brickin it says that, yeah, you can just go direct to YouTube. So you don't have to use a StreamYard or Streamlabs or anything you want. You can just go live on YouTube and then you have no limit. But it limits you in the type of, you cannot have guests on. Uh, you cannot do a lot of fancy graphics. It's really just your webcam feed into YouTube. I wonder if we need to be closer on this. Can we zoom this or no? Because I'm building real close to here. And I'm wondering if we can actually make this bigger since we're working with a smaller thing now. I don't know if we can zoom it. Yes, much better. Thank you very much. I think that's a little bit better for now because then people can see it a little bit more. And you then can I'm building of closer. Also pull this a bit forward if you yeah. To. Not too forward though, because yeah, this is good. Because I'm building like a little bit closer up here. Looks good, looks good. Yeah, Discord is what we use in those live streams. Rich Boy Jay and I use it all the time. Okay. I'll look into how to feed in the audio. And also, I don't have Discord on this laptop, so we need to take a look into that. But we'll, we'll try things out, and maybe in the next weeks you'll see, like, just a random test stream pop up that is just yeah. us trying to... Figure it out. Maybe for 20, 30 minutes, tr try to test things out and see if it works. Because um, this was, this was kind of, you know nerve-wracking to see if this would all work oh it wasn't nerve-wracking for me i figure if it was broken we would just restart it again yeah exactly we, we didn't really always... have a, a backup plan for this though uh, obs <laughs> just plain old obs is a good backup yeah exactly but i haven't set that up so uh, no worries yeah we'll, we'll we'll look into the the guests uh, and the, the discord and why the subscriber thingy doesn't work I can only test it out. It's only a test, but it doesn't. 
I like that. I, I, I mean, it's not the best to have it for subscribers because you're not really going to usually be getting subscribers during a live stream, but it's just kind of cute. I think it's more for other stuff. Which is interesting because now I look, see it's 6, 662, so somebody must have subbed. Lord of the Bricks says, I'd be nervous about it, Mike. Mike is definitely the worrier, I would say, in the relationship, and I feel like I'm more like, eh, it'll be okay, it'll work the out. The worrier, yeah, not yeah, the you're, warrior. You're but the, the worrier. worrier, yeah. I just tried to make sure everything is covered. I'll be the warrior. Covered. You're the warrior. Let's see you in a little bit, Lexi. Yeah, it's gonna stop. Bye, Lex. Thanks for stopping by. So much appreciated. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll set up that uh, that longer live stream. It's probably going to be January thirtieth. Uh, so uh, maybe it will be the Ninjago City Gardens build or some smaller sets that we're just going to build. And try to make a little agenda of how we would split it in, in hour or two hour chunks. A little bit of a program. And Lord of the Bricks says, you are optimistic like me, Sarah. Yeah, I am optimistic. I just think you can have fun doing anything. Even if there's a problem, I feel like it can turn into a fun experience. Like even getting your car stuck in the snow, I feel like is an opportunity to have like something weird or interesting happen and when things go wrong it always makes the best stories later when things are like not right then you have a great story so i always look at it on the bright side like if something if you have a problem in life that's just an opportunity to have a good story later or or learn something i kind of like it when things are weird like when the electricity goes out it's just i don't know it's interesting and fun and different and it's i like challenges <laughs> Hey Juan, we have Hi, Juan. Sereno in the chat saying hey. Hi, I hope, hope you're having a good weekend. Day. Yeah, Thanks. great to see you. Jinx. jinx. It wasn't really that much of a jinx. So you have to say the same word at the exact same time. time. Okay. No, like <laughs> I'm gonna say now, right? Now. No, you didn't do it. Oh, now. Now. No, you can't jinx it. It has to be an accident. Well, do you too. know what word I'm thinking about right now? No. But what do you think? Water. No, pancakes. Pancakes? We can't make pancakes, though. We don't have pancakes. I definitely did not get the pancakes vibe from you. I must have missed that in my psychic training. I'm, I'm kind of hungry, too. We probably should have eaten before we started doing the live stream. I can survive without food and only on coffee alone for a pretty long amount of time, but... Cheese? Oh, you're standing in the kitchen. She thinks she's going to get food, and she's not. Anna says, you could be a worrying warrior. Who says that? Anna, oh, okay. a worrying warrior. I like that. Mahan says, food stream question mark. Go, go sit in the chair for a little. Go sit in the chair. No, I don't think we'll do much of a food stream. I don't even know how long we've been streaming for already. I'm not sure where that is located on... Um, on this oh, no, it's actually program. I actually don't see that anywhere. So uh, well, we started kind of for so an hour and a half. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. You can sit in the chair, Paris. Just try not to be too engaging of her noise. You encourage her to be be a heathen. Be a bad girl. Have a seat. Come here. She thinks she's going to get food. No, just gonna ignore her. Because she's being very bad. She's already had food. <laughs> people are gonna think that we're mean to you paris because you cry but she is eating enough oh my gosh i'd love to do a food stream how I try to make food, says Lando. Yeah, I think I've seen you cooking before at your at your place. On the streams. You can be a little bit shy about it, so I don't think I would want to make a full on food eating channel or preparation. Is this the same size? Oh yeah, it is. Just kidding. Mr. Starbucks is, I guess, looking for food? Yeah. But how are we gonna eat while we're streaming? Yeah, I'm thinking about that. Should probably wait until we're at, until we're done. Unless you have a little snack. No, 
Is there is there any more coffee or is that totally gone? Mm. Lando says, yeah, it's an idea, but I don't think it would ever happen. And uh, Lord of the Bricks says the same thing I'm thinking. Why not, Lando? BFab says, I should start a mukbang channel called Albino Eats Food. You know people would watch that, though, BFab. You should do it. I would watch it. Which is kind of hypocritical because I don't want to do that myself, but I would probably watch... I would watch you do it, though. I, I don't want to do that, but I would watch you do it. Oh, that cat. Uh-oh, did I make a mistake? Oh, no, I didn't. This is good. This curve piece goes here. I'm not sure what the quality of this build cam is. If you guys can see okay or kind of not, but at least you can see what we're working on, I guess. To a degree. Mm. <laughs> BFAP says eating on stream is normal. Well, it is if you can like hide your face and like mute your camera. It's a little bit awkward if you're just like eating. And then people like, if you're especially on it, guesting with other people and then they like put you on the camera, <laughs> it's a little awkward. Just a little bit. Oh, I put this in the wrong place. Oh no. I have to pull this off. I missed putting like a one by one on the end. There you go. Bricks in Lithuania, hello. Thanks for stopping by the stream today. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Always a pleasure to see you, and I really hope that you're having a good weekend. I feel a little bit bad because if Mr. Starbucks waited a little bit, then I could pay attention a little bit more to the chat once I finish up the bag that I'm working on. Maybe not the most ideal of timing. That's okay. It's fine. I just don't want to ignore people in the chat, but I also want to finish the bag that I am working on. Ooh, we're making eggs? Yeah, I'm Oh, that sounds good. Yummy. Good bread. Mmm. Sounds nice. Alright, those are blowing. You, I don't, I don't know your name. Aww. Sorry, Paris. You don't have to be mean to us. Well, she already had food. Alright, we're back. And I'm gonna open the phone. No problem. Is anybody else out there building along with us? Is anybody building some sets? Oh, Scalador is building the UCS Yoda. Yeah. And Joanna says, hey, Sarah. Yeah, I'd say the camera allows you Who? to see the gist of what's going on. Joanna Elfie. Number three from the bottom there. Oh, Joanna. Mm -hmm. Hi, Joanna. Thanks for coming by the live stream. Going on here, no focus issues. That's always a good thing. Yeah. See how this guy shows up. We'll just do it like this. Lego Madness is back, and Mahan just finished building the Kai first. She's gonna Scorpion. be really bad now. <laughs> You're gonna be up close on the build cam, Paris. She's so bad. Come here. I'm gonna move the pieces a little bit. Don't, uh, <laughs> don't I'm reveal yourself. Don't sit on my lap. <laughs> hey, Inappropriate, We're back, we're back up to 20 again. Oh, that's good. Cool, cool. Even if there's only one person who wants to hang out with us, that's totally fine as well. It's nice to have the company. Uh, Bricks and Lithuania just finished drawing his Lego Cal... Cal Kestis minifig. Uh, that's the guy from Jedi Fallen Order, right? I still have to... Uh, to try that game out at some point. It took me three hours to draw one figure. He's trying to make a Jedi Fallen Order CMF series. That's cool. Sounds uh, difficult though. Uh, you know, but that will be cool. If I haven't played that game yet, I, maybe one day. Sounds like a cool game, but uh, 
I want to play one of the Lego games, and soon, if anybody wants to watch that. <laughs> yeah. I want to live stream a, me playing one of the Lego games, but I don't know which game I'm going to play. Yeah. They, they have some of them on the Switch as well, right? Yeah. Or maybe I should play one of my farm games. You haven't played uh, <laughs> the Lego Movie 2 game yet. Oh yeah, that's a good point. The price for international shipping is a little crazy last night. I sent a Christmas gift to my friend Alex McBrick and it was worth it. I also may be shipping Sarah some Starburst. Oh, that's okay, Lord of the Bricks. You really don't have to do that. It is very expensive to send things here, but the, the thought alone is so much appreciated. That's so kind. I think that... I do love Starburst a lot and it is it is a hard life living somewhere where they don't sell them. Mm -hmm. It's and it's a bit of a bummer. Paris made a, an appearance here. That's sad. So that's always cool. Let's see here. Lego Madness is back. It's going to order the police station. Ooh, nice. Okay. I think I did this right. And Joanna says, all of, my, uh, all of the Lego video games have been cool in my experience. Yeah, they're fun to play. We've played uh, three or four of them. Which one has been your favorite so far, Joanna? Not too difficult, you know, fun to play. I think my main gripe with the games is sometimes it's a little bit difficult to know what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I agree with that. Because there's so much happening on screen. There's bricks flying around. There's bad guys. There's some, sometimes not clear what you can and can't interact with, but they're making that better. That new Lego Star Wars game looks really cool. Um, maybe we'll play that at some point when it's cheaper. Baby Yoda Davis asks the question, do you like Lego Star Wars? I do like Lego Star Wars, but it is not the main thing that I collect. Uh, I don't have the most space here in the small apartment that I live, Baby Yoda Davis. So unfortunately, I don't have the ability to collect a lot of the larger ships. We're mostly focusing on city building right now. And so if it doesn't fit into a city, it's sort of a lot lower down on the priority list of things to buy. You know, Star Wars Lego can be really expensive, and a lot of that stuff is really cool, but we just don't have the space or the money to have all of the stuff. So we tend to focus more on city builds and a very select few display pieces. It has to be something that I really, really just have a feel for to get. And Joanna says, mm -hmm. a Pirates of the Caribbean game. We haven't played that one. That's the one that... The coolest, but yeah, they, oh, they make it I'll finished. have to definitely check that out then. That sounds pretty fun, and indeed, I haven't built that yet. Someone we maybe? have Pier, oh, hi, Pier, Pier Biz stopping by. In hi, the Pier. Chat. That sounds like an awesome. Uh, I love his last name. Yeah, Fis is fish in Dutch, and so that's actually my zodiac sign in Dutch. It's called Fis Pisces because yeah. it's the Pisces. That's cool. It sounds like a like a cool uh, mm -hmm. Star Wars bad guy name, like you know. Like a bad senator or, you know, peer fizz. Why does it have to be a bad senator? Uh, well, no, peer. not necessarily bad. It's it just bad sounds. It's, it just sounds like a Star Wars, like a Star Wars name. But yeah, peer we fizz. saw that you're making content as well, so that's yeah. great. And we also have Joyce, Joyce Schouten, another Dutchie. Hi, Joyce. Thank you so much awesome. for joining the live stream or bedankt. Yeah. And Lando says, "Trust me, that's why I'm going to send a big care package." to someone like Sarah and have her send somebody else the gifts overseas in the UK. It could be an idea, uh, you know, to just send it all to one spot and then have that. It's not the cheapest to no, send out really stuff to expensive. the UK e e either. It's but really expensive. It's, uh, yeah. It really is unfortunate. I think um, the easiest way to do it is I usually just buy and collect or sell, send things to people when I'm actually there. Like if I come to the U.S., then it's easier to pick things up from my parents' house and bring them back here. Mm -hmm. And that's how I've mostly been doing that. A lot of awesome people here today. So it's great to see so many people coming by, especially um, it's all, all our, and... the Nader launders out there is good to see. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Plugging away at building the modular police station. Looking good so far. Yeah, looks nice. Apartment here. I'll show like the um, 
Not a lot of interior decoration. No, there's not really a lot going on on the inside so far. In here, you can see like there's a little bed, and that's pretty much it so right. far. I like the little windowsill with the little flower on it, though. That's always really cute. But yeah. And yeah, Pierre Viz is the uh, username. It's not the real name. Yeah, yeah that's totally makes fine. sense. I think both could be could be legit names. I think there are people that have Pierre as their first name, but I think that's more like old Dutch. And seen that and Fizz like that I've, I've you know, come across people that have Fizz as their last name and that's why the avatar is also a pear and then a fish because that's it's cool. a pear pe pear means pear yeah exactly so I like I like that username a lot though it's pretty nice I have absolutely no idea where these go actually am I like on the front here? oh yeah I, I missed that I'm sitting here looking like where do these actually go you are right. <laughs> Get on there. 103 dropped frames. That's bad. Stream wraps. What? No, it's shit. Is it struggling? It. Well, no. I mean, we've been streaming for an hour and 40 minutes and only 103 dropped frames. That's not that bad. Oh. You have to keep in mind it's 24 frames a second. So that's not. It's like, yeah, under. Um, I'm not really sure why I can't get this on here. Maybe you will have better luck putting this on here. Okay, it just keeps popping off. Oh, thanks. There you go. What is Sagittarius in Dutch? Sagittarius, that should be a uh, boogschutter. Boog? Schutter. Schutter? Is that like a bow carrier? I believe so. Because it's like an, like archer? an archer. Yeah. Boog? Skitter? Schutter. Scooter. Both scooter. Both scooter. Wow, that's hard to say. Schutter. That's scooter. <laughs> that's hard to say. Oh my gosh. That's tough. I like the easy words in Dutch. And my favorite hey, that's funny. My favorite word in Dutch is the word for carrot, and that's wortel. It's such a funny word. Wortel. That means carrot. But both scooter. Boch scooter is hard for me to say that. Boch scooter. I think it's like old Dutch slash German from the word shooter. It's hard to say. And boch is actually not arrow, it's actually bow. So it's like bow shooter. That's basically what uh, you would literally translate that to, and that's probably how the word came to be. That makes sense. Papa Spriggs is back. Hey, Papa. Internet dropped out. Hope look great, great you're, you're back here. And Lano says, Ha, huh, it's funny to say. Boogschutter. Boogschutter. It's like the the worst combination. Boch you had the G scooter. of the boog. Yeah, and then it, and, and then, then you then have the SCH, which is also the schutter. Boogschutter. It's hard to say. Yeah, you're doing oh, it very well. It's really hard. I've seen uh, people that have been here much longer struggle much worse with the G and the SCH sounds. Yeah, that's true. There are people who've lived here for like eleven years and refuse to speak a word of Dutch. I've gotten it over over it though, and decided that speaking Dutch is helpful, and also it's just nice to understand more things and kind of get a better feel for the culture. Even though I don't really need to use Dutch that much right now in my life, it's still helpful when you're living in a country to know the language. Sarah really likes the "ow" sound. No, I don't. I. <laughs> That's really hard to say. Ow. Ow is onion. Ow. And it's used in a lot of... It's, it's really it's an unnatural, like, sound. We don't have that ow sound in a normal word. Like, ha like what's another word that has that in it? Osiris is an owl. Owl. A owl. owl. It sounds super weird and hard to say. I have to say it really weird, so I do apologize for that. You, you guys have, are probably like, oh gosh, why am I watching howlin', this? Howlin', which is crying. Howlin'. 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 It's really howlin'. hard to say that ow. It's not a natural sound that we have in, in uh, American English. That's for sure. Baby Yoda Davis with a question. Um, Do you guys like the new Lego City 2021 sets? Yes. Uh, Baby Yoda Davis, what an awesome question. I love the new Lego City 2021 sets. I really like the named characters. We haven't gotten any of the new road plates yet. And all those new Lego City 2021 sets all come with the new road plates. So it's a cool way to try those out. One of those sets comes with like a golden retriever mold, I think. Is that right? That's cool. The one with the dog washing bin? Yeah. And then there's that big one that has the the uh, the blind guy with the 
with the helper, the seeing mm-hmm. eye dog. That's really cool. They have some cool pieces in those new sets. We didn't get any yet because the Lego City sets typically go on a lot of discount here or in Germany. So you can get them for 30, 40% off. They're not exclusive to Lego. So we, we wait until we see a good price drop and we'll get some of them. I think Sarah really wants the uh, Town Square because that comes with the Shirley really? Keeper character. the From Lego the City Adventures. From City Adventures. Yeah. So my name means pearl. What's pearl in Dutch? It's actually interesting because it's kind of an anagram because it's the same letters and the word is parel. 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 Hi, pearl. Jeff Jauper. Thanks for coming by. Parel. That's a nice word. Pearl. I like that. Parel. Pearl. Parel. Yeah. Baro. That's a nice word, actually. I like that. And I'm learning some more Dutch because I did not know that, Lando. So that's a cool question. Uh, Mahan with the mini oh, review. Wow. The Kai versus Skull King is one of the. It's a nice set with cool figures and dope weapon pieces, but it's pricey. Oh, Six out of ten. Awesome. I've seen those sets. Those are the little uh, combat packs, right? In the ridiculously weird box shapes. Uh, yeah, if those were cheap, then I think we could snag a few up for some characters if we don't have them already. Now that we're watching a lot of Ninjago, it's kind of cool to have like some of the main bad guys and characters and kind of have like a little, uh, the ability to put like all those characters in like the Ninjago gardens and just display them all around. So recently I snagged up a, a Pixel minifigure for Sarah because we didn't have any of those. But the Pixel's kind of weird because it's the Samurai X version of Pixel. So her outfit is kind of weird and I didn't really recognize her at first because her outfit is different and the, the face printing on that is really kind of weird in my opinion. But no worries. And yeah, in reply to the city sets, Baby Yoda Davis says, the new Lego city sets are kind of overpriced. And yeah. that is true. And that's, that's why true. we're waiting. That is true. But they're nice looking, it. though. They're cool looking. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the, the town square is like a 110 euro set. Um, it doesn't come with any full buildings. So yeah, that is definitely something that we will probably get when it's cheaper. 30, 40% on the Amazons or toy stores here, clearancing out. For us, that is really the type of stuff that we can easily wait on. Same with Ninjago, like the Tournament of Elements set is really cool, but we know that at some point Amazon is going to drop that for 30% off. Yeah, and we like to save money because we don't have unlimited funds. Somebody coming or going? Now we have A&A Hobbies, Corey, oh, in the hi, chat, Corey. saying we got a lot of snow last night. Oh, geez. Great to see you, Corey. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully you can stay indoors a little bit so you don't have to freeze in that snow. You gonna build back nine as well? Uh, you can work on it some if you want. You want to? What about the, the breads and the eggs? Yeah, is there that much to do for that right now? Because we can't really eat properly until we're off. So you'd want me not to bake the breads yet? Probably not. I would say I would wait a little bit. I don't know how long we're gonna be streaming for today. Like who else is streaming today that has something going on? I don't know actually. Hmm. So I'll turn the oven off, but the eggs I mean, are we could also make it and then just take turns eating. Yeah, we could do that. That's fine. I'm, I'm pretty I am pretty hungry. hungry. Yeah, I agree. I am pretty hungry, too. So I guess we'll just take turns eating and uh, I have to wait for the eggs then to we'll Oh, cute. I just made, like, a little kitchen that's really adorable, which is really kind of... There we go. It's kind of hard to see. But I was uh, putting together this little tiny kitchen, and look how cute that is. It's so cute. They have like a little cabinet and a little sink and a little oven. That's adorable in their little apartment. Can you please quit doing that? Joanna mm-hmm. says, uh, got the Lego These City extras. sports car. There you go. The Lego City sports car looks really cool. We saw London Bridge Bricks built that. That's the little blue sports car. That one is cool looking. Which one? The little Lego City blue sports car. Oh yeah, for sure. That's a cool one. Mm. A&A always luckily has a snow blower, so that's really good. I need to take a little break from this because my wrist is actually kind of hurting a little bit. Okay. I sprained it yesterday. Well, I can do like uh, maybe like uh, this this type of stuff. Right yeah. Oh, cute! Look at this guy. That's gonna come in bag nine. I'm gonna grab bag nine here. No problem. You... Nerd brick is here. Hi, nerd brick.
Ready? Yeah. I technically have two names, my Russian name and then the one given to me by my adopted parents, which means Pearl or Barl. <laughs> That's nice, though. How do you say diamond in Dutch? Diamond. Diamond. That's kind of the same. What about ruby? Robain. Robain. Emerald? Uh, emerald. I know building is Bowen. Mm-hmm. Building is Bowen, so that's good for the Lego. Smaracht. That's Emerald. Ooh, I don't like that. Smaracht. 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 Oh, the that's eggs. the eggs. Smaracht. I like Parl, though. That sounds nice. And Diamant is kind of the same. What was the other one we did? Robine. For Ruby. Yeah. Robine. We're just gonna multitask on this stream and I'll just be learning my Dutch here yeah. while we uh, are live streaming. I do actually need to work on it a little bit. I've been really lazy since we went into lockdown about actually practicing. So I probably should do a little bit more work on my Dutch lessons. And Lego Madness is still here with us. Nerd Brick 101. I don't know if I got to greet you or if I got distracted by the Lego and the Dutch lessons. Joanna, I think you already read that message actually. <laughs> Land of Sweet says, yay, Dutch learning, I love it. Yeah, I use Duolingo for a lot of my language learning and YouTube. I've never taken any proper courses and of course I can always ask Mr. Starbricks questions. I should probably review like all the Dutch that I've already learned. It was a lot of work trying to get ready for the um, for the tests that I had to take. That was a lot. Oh, at least you passed up. Yeah, thank goodness. I actually don't know how you're doing these windows. I feel like I did this one wrong. Not sure. I'm gonna get weird looks from my neighbors as I try to speak Dutch. Who says that, Lando? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's fun. I mean, it's oh, it's not the most uh, most utility type of language. I'm not sure where this window went. Oh boy, did it? Or was there another one? I feel like it flew off and like went far away. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I got it. It got tangled up in my tablecloth. <laughs> hey, and I always finally finished the bookshop together with his wife. Oh, awesome! Like did she like it, Corey? How was her feelings about it? Are you trying to get her more into Lego? Yeah, she, um, he mentioned it in a video or like on a stream that it's taking so long that she doesn't really like it, but yeah. it's kind of finally finished it. I hope she enjoyed it. Bricky Ty. Hi, Bricky Ty. Good evening. Sarah and Mike, hope you're both well. It feels like it's morning. I know it's like 5 or 6 p.m., but it feels like it's morning for me. Great to see you here. A and uh, <laughs> A hobby says, "Madness, my wife doesn't build Lego." Hmm. Land of Sweet says, "My cat is looking at me like I have three heads as I say some Dutch stuff." Yeah, apparently cats. I, there's a really funny video about it actually, like speaking different languages to cats, and every time the person speaks German, the cat is like, looks like to attention. <laughs> I guess the cats find the, the Dutch and the German really weird and interesting sounding. So, especially the those weird G's. Yeah, that G sound, that it's like, It sounds like them. It sounds like a hairball. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why they are like responding to it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to anybody out there who's actually uh, Dutch, of course. But yeah, it's, it's a we really weird it. sound. <laughs> that's true. We can have we know it's a weird sound. Hi, Greg. London Bridge Bricks is here. Hi, awesome. Hope you're having a good weekend so far. It was fun streaming with you last night, Greg. London calling 51. Yeah. It's a cool wall that he did with the uh, donation stuff. Yeah, I really liked that a lot. We have to think of something fun to do if I ever reach that point. Like, I think coloring is pretty fun. That's really awesome. I have to think of some fun way to, to simulate it. Ooh, I have a good idea, actually. I know, I know what I want to do. Okay. I know what I want to do. 
Bricky Ty says that he's nursing a hangover while trying to sort Lego. Oh no, turn your volume nice and low then on the stream. Party mode, huh? And keep your lights down low too. Turn your turn your screen brightness down super low. Take it easy on your eyes and take like a maybe a pain reliever. Aw. I can never remember what actually gets rid of the hangover feeling. Okay. Poor Bricky Ty. Pirvis says, please say Hrach Hadan. Hrach Hadan. Except I can't get the other G. You do it. Hrach Hadan. Hrach Hadan. <laughs> My pleasure. Krach Chadan. Yeah. It's that, it's that G. How is that, Pierre? Krach <laughs> Chadan. I, I really have to work more on my Dutch. But yeah, Lando, if you're interested in learning some random Dutch words, you can always check out Duolingo. That's a really good app. London Bridge Brick says, I really enjoyed it too. The London Wall went really well, and the photos too. It was one of my favorite ever streams. And happy you both were there to share it with me. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, it was a really good way to to introduce your, um, uh, what do they call it? Super chats, yeah. <laughs> I really liked that a lot. It was a lot of fun. And I, I really liked the, the guests that we had and everything. It was it was a good stream. Good times. Oh, Pierre, Pierre says, good job. Yeah. Well, thank you, Bill. <laughs> thank you, Bill. Sorry for the Dutch to those of you who are in the chat watching that don't speak Dutch, but you'll learn a little bit of Dutch by watching this. And also, if you are a girl watching this and you like makeup tutorials, maybe you even know Nikki tutorials, and she is actually a Dutch person as well. So I think she actually did one makeup tutorial where she only spoke Dutch for the entire makeup tutorial, so that's pretty interesting. Yep. And uh, Baby Yoda Davis wants to know, when do you get your Ninjago Gardens? I sure hope soon, because it's taking a really long time to come. So I really hope that it's going to come soon. And uh, Lennon Bridge Brick says, I'm liking the OBS stuff on screen. It looks good. Thank you, Greg. Yeah, uh, Mike was fiddling around with it and trying to make our setup a little bit different. So we now have more of a build camera option going on as well. Which... Maybe I need to go a little bit further away again since you're building a little bit different. And like, well, how many people are watching and stuff? Yeah, it's pretty cool. The and then, oh yeah, Greg, look at this. It's really cute. Let me see if I can remember how to do this again. The test widgets at the bottom. Oh yeah. Let me show you uh, something really cute. Watch, Greg. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's not really working. I mean, that's not no, I stuff, mean, it's but... it's not really being used properly, but it's just so cute. I want to be able to use that somehow. The isn't Adorable. <laughs> I like that. It's so cute. It's like a little, little cat. <laughs> and Adorable says, I like Nikki tutorial. She seems like a lovely person. Yeah, I really like watching makeup tutorials and... Uh, there's a few YouTubers that I really enjoy, but a lot of the stuff I like to watch is like people doing kind of humor, but also showing you useful things for life, which I really like that a lot. Nikki Tutorials has some pretty interesting stuff. And I always just, I don't know, I like her energy, so I love watching her stuff. And I was really surprised when I found out she was Dutch. I didn't know that at first. That was a big surprise, but she's Dutch. She doesn't live in the Netherlands anymore, but she is and Nederlander. <laughs> and uh, Doc is back again. He says, anyone remember the saying freaky deaky Dutch? I definitely don't. The only thing I know about people saying stuff about Dutch is going Dutch. And if you go Dutch, you have to split the bill. So I would have never gone out with a guy who wanted to go Dutch. Because I would, I would want a gentleman to pay for my dinner if he took me out, of course. And Alyssa's here. Hi, Alyssa. She says, hi, stars. Hi. Hey. Mr. Starbricks is in there, too. He's just making us some food. And Matt is also here. Hello, Matt. Thank you so much for coming by. We're just working on the police oh, yeah, station. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, Family Bricks, Matt Elder, will be streaming tonight, his draw stream, so please make sure to check out Matt's channel. As you can see, he's Family Bricks in the chat if you're interested in Lego and art and just fun and nice conversation and a chill stream. You can come by there, and that is at what time, Matt? Is it 8 GMT or 7 GMT? 7 GMT. 7 GMT. So 7 UK time. I don't know what time is it now. Uh, right now it is... I don't know what time it is actually. Oh, right. 18. 6 o'clock for us, so it's 5 o'clock for them. 5 o'clock for the UK. Hours. Yes, in two hours, Matt Family Bricks will be doing a draw stream. So feel free to check that out. Hi, Milan. Hi, Milan. Milan Amin is here. Hi, Milan. If you guys uh, actually want to keep up with the streams, Matt is really good about posting his streams in the Discord server that I run for the community. So I will post that link again for you all who are in the chat and maybe not part of the Discord already. So that's the link for the Discord. If you're interested in that, then feel free to, to check that out. It's uh, a really good way to keep up with who's streaming and when. It's not a... 100% perfect system, but it's pretty good for the people that post in there pretty regularly when they're streaming. You can keep track of it. If that's not working, I do apologize. Doc Samson says police station and Ninjago City Gardens. Yeah, we haven't we haven't gotten our Ninjago City Gardens yet, so we're still working on the police station, and I have also over here some other really cool sets that I want to build. I'm just taking a break from building, and Mr. Starbricks went to make food. We have tons of stuff to get through, so that's why we started streaming on Saturdays as well a little bit, so people that can't really make it to the weekday streams can come by and hang out a little bit more, and also we can get through some more of our backlog because it's quite massive. So, what do you want on your egg sandwich? Um, what do I want on my egg sandwich? What did you put on mine last time? Nothing? Salt and pepper? Just salt and pepper is good for me. I don't need anything else on it. If it's like hot um, baguette type bread, then maybe a little bit of butter on the on the on the bread, a little bit of butter, and then the eggs with salt and pepper, and that's good for me. And uh, let me just take a look at what's going on in the chat. People are greeting each other, which is wonderful. And Lennon Bridge Bricks is about to build a small Ninjago set, and will be lurking. Well, that's fine. Thanks for being here, Greg. It's much appreciated. We're just hanging out as well, trying to, uh, you want one or two? I want two. Are you going to have two? Uh, yeah, but I'll probably put other stuff on mine. Oh, um, maybe if there's not enough eggs for another piece of bread, then you could bring me one of those little cream cheese things and I can put that on there it. Is more than enough egg. Okay, then I'll take egg on both. Egg is good. <laughs> We're very hungry because we woke up really late and we didn't eat anything yet, so uh, we slept, oh my gosh, I don't know, we stayed up till 4 a.m., something like 4 a.m. last night because we were watching a live stream that just went completely crazy and fun, and then when we woke up, it was already super late in the day, so we haven't eaten anything yet. I've had coffee, and I need more coffee at some point, but definitely need to have some more to eat. Which up teacher says, I enjoy listening to your soothing voice while cooking for the boys. Oh, thank you so much, Tice. That's so kind. And I actually meant to ask you, you were mentioning Anina before and Anina liked my chair. I actually don't know who Anina is. I don't know if that's um, one of your friends or one of your children or... Uh, I'm not sure who that is. So I actually wanted to ask you about that. If you don't want to... What? Okay. Oh, yeah, over there. I'll take a break and go eat mine. You can eat first if you want. Joanna says, I've been really pleasantly surprised by how pretty Ninjago City Gardens look. Are you building that right now, Joanna? But yeah, it's a really nice set and it's kind of interesting because I got the Ninjago City set for my birthday when it came out, the year that it came out, and we almost didn't buy the Ninjago docks, but we decided to, and I'm glad that we did because now that the gardens is out, they all just go so nicely together. But it seems like a lot of the people that slept or didn't buy the Ninjago City and the docks are now more interested in those sets because of how beautiful the garden set is. It's really inspired a lot of interest in those older sets. So I don't know if LEGO is going to make a decision to reprint them so people who 
didn't have those ones can get them or or what creative brick is here hi creative brick joyce says yes drop waffles and drop i don't actually eat drop uh for those of you who are in the chat and not dutch drop is basically licorice it's black licorice is drop ever red or it's always black licorice there's some red stuff, there's oh there's some red but it's basically licorice and the dutch really like their drop I'm not that into the drop, but I do like um, all the, like, Haribo and the gummies and the sour candy. I don't really like licorice that much unless it's red. I like red licorice. So I usually, it's usually one of the things that I miss from the U.S. is the American red licorice brands, which have a lot more sugar in them than the Dutch licorice. The Dutch licorice has a more natural, strong taste that is more probably real. And the American licorice is very sweet and has a lot of sugar. So I'm more used to the very sugary American licorice than Dutch licorice. But stroke waffles, stroke waffles are the best. <laughs> That's probably why I moved here was just for the stroke waffles. Yeah, but you sent me those stroke waffles in the mail. Don't make a sad face. It's for you as well, but also for those stroke waffles. Mm -hmm. And no problem, Creative Brick, about being late. He's been building the Lego Saturn V. Awesome. What a cool set. What an amazing one. Red vines are better than Twizzlers, says Doc Sampson. It's actually interesting that you say that, uh, Doc, because I had never tried red vines until really recently when a friend of mine sent me a box of some American candy in the mail. And he included red vines and Twizzlers because I told him I really like Twizzlers. So he sent me both. And I love both. I'm not, like, people are really into this controversy over Red Vines versus Twizzlers. I like both. I like both. Red Vines are kind of weird because they're more hollow. But they have, like, a more natural, less sugary taste than Twizzlers. And Twizzlers are kind of more, like, chewy. But it depends on what kind of mood I'm in. But I'm, I'm feeling both. Red Vines, Twizzlers, send them my way i'll eat them i ate them very quickly the ones that my friend sent are already gone and it was only like a week i ate i ate my candy so fast and it made me feel really happy to have some stuff from the u.s i think um lord of the bricks actually heard me mentioning that i ate all the starbursts as well that my friend sent me and doc says i think it was east coast versus west coast i'm from the midwest so maybe that's why I, i'm down for both and my friend is from the West Coast, and he definitely prefers the red vines. So that's an interesting theory, Doc. I like both, though. I love both. Milan says, strope waffles with the heart eyes. And Milan also says, the salty drop is the only type that I can eat. Oh, man, that stuff is crazy, though. It's really salty. Like, really salty. I put that in my mouth one time and I was just like, ugh, I, I, this is not what I want to eat for candy. I don't like, I don't really like the drop, but it's probably because I didn't grow up here, so it's not something I'm really used to. And they have so many different kinds. It's crazy to me how many different kinds of drop you can have when, I don't know, I, I would not have expected that. Not, not really a big fan of black licorice. Land of Sweet says, I like red vines to eat them like string cheese. That's why I like the Twizzlers Pull and Peel. I feel like the Twizzlers Pull and Peel ones are more similar to Red Vines, and then you can just, like, pull the little rope off. But the Red Vines that I ate, they seemed to be flaking apart. I couldn't really pull them apart like a piece of string cheese. It was kind of just falling apart and flaking in my hand. The taste was really good, but, um, like, a Twizzlers Pull and Peel is, like, more strong. I'm very, very uh, detailed when it comes to candy, as you can tell. I'm, I'm very critical and detailed on the, on the candy. Anna says, yes, salty licorice is tasty. Lecker. <laughs> Het is lecker. Lecker is one of the most popular Dutch words, and that means tasty or yummy. Lecker. You hear people say lecker all the time. And what is the face symbol like this? Lecker. <laughs> Get this lecker. But yeah, they say lecker a lot here. Lecker for tasty. Lecker. <laughs> Doc Sampson says, it was always a drive-in movie treat. Yeah, exactly. That's what my friend said too, is that he always has red vines when he goes to the movies. 
So I, I'm feeling both, though. If my friend sends me some more candy, I'm definitely going to ask for more licorice. You can't send enough licorice, red licorice. I'm all about it. And I like string cheese, too, Lando. And yeah, you can unwind them, says Doc. I had a problem unwinding my red vines. Asian Studios is here. Hey, Asian Studios. Hey, guys, I just noticed the new format. Yes, we're trying to make things a little bit more professional, and I also ran out of StreamYard minutes because I don't pay for StreamYard yet because I don't make any money from my YouTube channel yet. So until I actually generate a little bit of ad revenue, I will not be paying for any of the premium services. So we use StreamYard for free, and I've already run out of my streaming hours because we're streaming a little bit more frequently. So now we are um, using a different program to do the streaming, and I hope it looks professional. If there's anything about it that you guys don't really like, like so at the bottom, across the bottom of the screen, we're thinking about adding a bar to make it a little more easy to differentiate between all the stuff. Like the Sarah Starbricks on the bottom is kind of on top of the Yoda and everything kind of runs together. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to try to fix it. And I also have uh, a little banner as well, which I don't know if I actually turned that on or not. Oh yeah, there it is. So I have a banner too, and we can turn that on so people can see what we're reading. Asian Studios just woke up. Well, good morning. We woke up a little bit ago as well, and then we just started live streaming right away. And I, uh, I, didn't, I don't feel like I slept that much, but we stayed up really late. Family Brick says, what about green apple licorice? I have never had that, but that sounds delightful. <laughs> if anyone wants to give me some green apple licorice, I would be all about that. Land of Sweet says, the thing I can never finish is a bag of sour Skittles. The problem with sour Skittles in the U.S. is that they have that rough outer coating that feels like sandpaper. So when you eat too many of them, your mouth starts to hurt. In the UK, they also have sour Skittles, but it's really weird because in the UK, the sour Skittles don't have that texture on the outside. And they're different flavors too. So it's just a smooth sour Skittle with no sandpaper on the outside. It's really interesting to me that candy can be so different between countries. It's really weird. Land of Sweet says, ugh, green apple. And Asian Studios is doing good. And I think Doc Sampson said... Google translated lecker as off as Afrikaans for furniture. That's interesting. Yeah, Afrikaans is very similar to Dutch as a language. Um, that's what they speak in South Africa, and it's really similar to Dutch. It's it's very similar. But that's interesting that lecker is furniture in Afrikaans. Yeah. That's weird. Just all the Dutch settlers that and then over the hundred and fifty years it kind of is same in words but different meanings. Yeah. Doc says I never had Twizzlers until they started showing up on TV in the nineties. I love Twizzlers so much. My mom used to eat them all the time and her mom ate them, my my mamma. And so it's like when I eat Twizzlers, I don't know, it must be like a nostalgia thing for me. Because it reminds me of my mom, and it reminds me of my mamma, and it just makes me feel, like, safe and happy. It's kind of weird. But, um, yeah. Twisters are really good for plane rides. That's, like, my favorite plane snack ever. Thank you. Producer Mike. Asian Studio says red vines are delicious. And I think I saw a question from Matt Family Bricks asking, was OBS easy to set up? I think that OBS is a little bit weird and not that easy to set up and we actually have to run OBS on Mike's laptop because my laptop is a MacBook Air and it doesn't really like OBS very much. You have to have a pretty strong computer setup to actually run it properly, which hopefully it is, but it, it is really nice though. I like OBS. It looks a, a lot more clean and professional than StreamYard, but it's not as easy as StreamYard. StreamYard's a lot easier to use stuff is not the most intuitive on OBS, but you can teach yourself. Even me, I'm not that good at it. Land of Sweet says Paris stole Mike's share. Yeah, she Screen always Mask does. OBS is actually easier because it yeah? has okay. a lot of built-in wizards and widgets. Maybe we can, um, maybe I can message Matt about that then. But yeah. Doc says, 
Well, how do you know that they are sour without the coating? That is trickery. Yeah, I know. It's really weird. The first time I had sour Skittles in the UK, I was really weirded out. I was like, where's the sandpaper? Kind of weird. Milan says, I don't even know what Twizzlers are. That's because you're in the Netherlands, and there's probably a lot of candy in the U.S. that you've probably never had. Um, I know sometimes I can find American candy at, like, the Oriental-type stores, like the Amazing Oriental or the... Um, sometimes the Yamin also has American candy, but I don't think I've ever seen Twizzlers. It's like red licorice. Milan. You want to eat? Yeah, I do. What about those hot Skittles? They have hot Skittles, like spicy. I'm actually going to put my intro on and I'm going to get up. You guys can probably still hear me and I'm going to get up and then Mike is going to sit here. I'm going to go eat and then Mike will talk to you guys while I'm eating and then I'll come back. All right. I'm going to take over. <laughs> there we go. Paris, I have to sit here. Together, together. Oh, okay. No. I'm not sitting on her. Just make sure you read some chat so I can also... Yeah. <clears throat> Doc Samson says they are horrible. I, I feel like we're talking about the uh, hot Skittles, no? That sounds gross. Yeah, that sounds weird. Like, are they different flavors? Are they mixed in with normal Skittles? Or is it just a package yeah, of hot yeah, Skittles? It's, it's like those Doritos, right? That are like super spicy Doritos. And yeah, uh, Matt, I... I learned pretty much everything that I need to learn about technology from either YouTube, uh, how to set things up, how to make it. There's a lot of great tutorials out there. So uh, you're in good shape. If, if you're, I mean, if you know your way around a, uh, you know, digital drawing program, I'm sure you can figure Streamlabs out. For some reason, some of the interactions aren't working. So when somebody subs, or I guess on subs. I don't know why you're down to six fifty nine, but uh, well, they'll they'll come back, and you know, I, but we'll figure that out. But it's it's pretty easy to set up. Just uh, if you watch like one or two tutorials about how the layout is, you you work with scenes, and each scene like this, this is its own scene, and then okay, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. In any case, let's uh, move it back here uh, to the, uh, sorry about that. Uh, I love the Extremes Rainbow Airheads. It's not even sour, says Lando. Have we had those before? Have you had those? No, I don't think so. Hmm. And Joyce just finished the police station. Yeah, we're, we're on the second floor still, so. It's a really great building, right? She says it's awesome, so. And Doc says, Laffy Taffy for the win. Sarah says, but they're okay. They're nice, but I don't think they're her absolute favorite. I like Starburst better. They're more chewy. I like really chewy stuff. Oh, well, no. Well, that is pretty chewy too if you if you get it at the right moment. Yeah, that's true. And we have Orange Bricks stopping by saying hello. Hey, Orange Bricks. Thanks so much for joining. I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for joining. We're still working on the modular police station. Sarah will be back shortly. Just taking a quick lunch break. I'm still here. You can probably still hear her. I'm just eating. <laughs> eating her sandwich. Uh, Lando asks, Sarah, have you had the baby bottle pops? Um, I actually don't think I've had that kind before. That's like the sugary powder that you can dip, right? Hmm. Those are pretty good. I don't know if I've had the baby bottle ones. I see. And we also have. <coughs> Maybe I have, but it's been a really long time. Because those are good if they come with the powder on it that you can dip your lollipop in. Those are really good. We also have an appearance from apparently Ninja Raptus because uh, he says a cloud of smoke appears. Wow. Or it could be a Pokemon, I guess. Mm -hmm. Hey, Raptus, thanks for joining. Hope you're having a good day. I'm trying to look for this triangular piece that goes on this staircase, but I can't. I wonder if I can get some candy now. You can probably get some not, candy. Though. No, I probably shouldn't eat candy while playing with the Lego. Hey, you can eat candy. I should wash my hands and then I'm going to come back. So there's the staircase. Clicking that in there. And Doc and Raptors are having a showdown, apparently. 
We meet again, Raptus. We meet once more, Samson. <laughs> Milan runs away because Doc coughed from the smoke. That's a probably a wise, wise choice. Wise choice. Uh, let's see. Lando says, "I know what to send you. It's the powder and sucker thing." Yeah, I think I think Sarah has tried a different brand of that, but bottle pops. I can't remember her actually using that. I'm all about tootsie rolls. Yeah, Sarah really likes Tootsie Rolls. I am not a fan of those. So whenever she gets a bag of those, um, I'm like zoned out. I'm like, yep, peace out. Just don't like them. I mean, I could eat them, but I know Sarah really likes them. So then I was just eating this rare imported candy that, you know, she really likes. Yep, you can come back in once I am. One second, Sarah's coming back in. <laughs> I just don't want to uh, come by without an intro screen because I'm wearing a really short skirt. And I don't want to be inappropriate. That's fine. I don't think I you think can I'm see snuggled anything. back in here. There you go. That's the one without the build cam, and the other one is the Ooh. one with the build cam. My wrist really hurts. Oh, that's not good. Put some, some tiger palm on there. I'm serious. I just pushed on this chair a little bit to, to snuggle in here, and it really hurts, like right here. You shouldn't put any pressure on it. Then. Ouch! <laughs> There's our build cam again as well. And the show off continues. Showdown continues. Between Doc and Raptors. But yeah, I like Tootsie Rolls a lot. Does anybody ever? Did anybody ever go to Planet Fitness to work out? If you worked out at Planet Fitness. They give you Tootsie Rolls every time you finish your workout. OMG, hearing that without the screen makes me laugh. The sound? I don't know. Land of Sweet says, what about the fruity Tootsie Rolls? Yeah, I'll, I'll eat those too. I like I like all of them, but the, the normal chocolate Tootsie Rolls are definitely my favorite. And again, it comes back to nostalgia because that was something that my mom ate a lot. And so I feel like when I eat Tootsie Rolls and, and Twizzlers, I just think of my mom. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I just, uh, I like the candy my mom ate when I was a kid. Oh. And also, also like I said, when I worked out at Planet Fitness, you got Tootsie Rolls when you left the gym. So it feels like a reward when I eat Tootsie Rolls. It has a really good feeling. Doc Samson says, nah, I just get Tootsie Rolls without the exercise. I always liked Planet Fitness though. They even had pizza night or pizza day at the gym. Like once a month you could go in and just eat pizza for free. I mean, you pay your membership, but. That's weird. Yeah, That's Planet awesome. Fitness was awesome. I think they had a bagel day too. Like they had bagel day and pizza day once a month. But what about working out and losing <clears throat> all that weight? Well, cause it's supposed to promote good lifestyle choices. You're not supposed to not eat pizza and not eat Tootsie Rolls. You're supposed to give yourself rewards and balance everything. Adora Build says, enjoy the rest of the stream, everyone. It's time for me to get some sleep. Good night, Ruth. Thank oh, you man, so much for so hanging much. out with us. Please sleep well. I'm not sure we wake up earlier next week. Yeah, on Saturday well. we have to get up earlier because Ruth also streams on Saturdays and she's a really amazing lady living in Australia that loves Lego. And her, her streams are really great. They're very relaxing and very fun to be a part of. So I, <laughs> I, I really have to get up Sorry. earlier. What's up, honey? Mad Dog's comment here. <clears throat> Planet Fitness. Sure, it's not Pizza Planet. <laughs> yep. Don't forget uh, Woody and Buzz inside of the Pizza Planet. Yeah. Night Night Adora says Doc. Good night Ruth says Woodshop Teacher. Mr. Blueberry Toy says Good night Adora Build. Pizza and candy at the gym. Anna G is laughing. Yeah, pizza and candy. They had pizza day at the gym. I liked that gym. That was my kind of gym. I don't really like a gym where everybody's super fit and I don't know. I feel intimidated a little bit. I like a gym where they give you pizza and Tootsie Rolls. And I feel like that environment was really, I don't know. It promotes like more healthy like goals, I feel like. And you see people of all shapes and sizes at the gym. It just seems more like inviting, I guess. All this candy talk is making me crave it and go out and get some. I know, Land of Sweet. I already wanted candy, too. I was like, mm, maybe I should get some. My friend also sent me some Sour Patch Kids, which is also a favorite of mine. Sour Patch Kids. They don't sell those in the Netherlands either. 
And they're very sour gummies for our Naderlander watchers. Mm -hmm. But um, I have some sour candy that I like here in the Netherlands as well. But those Sour Patch Kids from the U.S. are just really good. And I have a big giant two-pound bag, but it's already almost gone. We, we really worked through that pretty quickly here. That's really already almost gone. Yeah, it's already really low down. I ate that candy so fast. I'm definitely going to get diabetes. I need to, like, start working out. And that's not a joke. Like, I really feel like that's, you know, probably not so healthy to eat so much sugar in such a short time, but it tastes so good. And it just makes me feel happy when I eat American candy. I'm just like, I'm home. <laughs> Land of Sweet says, I remember when I was younger and went to gymnastics practice at the gym. That afterward, I would go to the vending machine and get zebra cakes. Wow, that's awesome. That's probably a good time to treat yourself, though. After a hard workout, you can have a little bit of sugar. They say um, chocolate milk, actually, is really good for you after you work out. And it has to be chocolate milk. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, chocolate milk is really good to drink after you have a good workout. Thomas says, how long have you been live streaming this video for? I think we've been live streaming now for a couple of hours. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. So that's pretty good. I usually stream Thomas from two to three hours is a normal length of time for my live streams. Once in a while they are longer and sometimes they're a little bit shorter, but usually two to three hours is my normal length of time. Yeah. And Land of Sweet says, but gymnastics practice was like three hours straight. Yeah, then you definitely deserved some zebra cakes. Hi, Paris. This is my cat, Paris, for those who are new to the live streams here. She's a very good girl, but she's also a little bit wanting to be part of the Lego. Paris, you need to sit. There's not a lot of space for you anymore, huh? Oh, did you just knock the policeman over? Yeah. Sit. I know there's not a lot of space because half Bossy's mouse is still there. And there's also some extra pieces in a Popo Man. Which I'll move a little bit. Come here. You can sit there. Have a sit. <laughs> yes. Now she's out of view, but she's at least seated on the table. Lord of the Brick says you can't go wrong with zebra cakes. Yeah, another thing that they don't sell in the Netherlands, they don't have any of those little Debbie snacks here. Um, so I like also, you know, the Nutter Butter cookies, those ones that are shaped like a peanut. Those are really good. They don't sell those here either. Um, they also don't have vanilla Oreo cookies. There's a lot of things that I really like junk food-wise. Goldfish crackers, Cheez-Its, Crunchy Cheetos, Funyuns, Fritos. Um, tons of stuff, tons of stuff that they don't sell here. I wish I could just open up like a giant American food snack store and just have tons of junk food and I could like sample it out to everybody that lives here and then they would probably sell them here. But yeah, Land of Sweet is like, yes, Nutter Butters, those are good and they don't sell them here. This has to go on my list of things I want. Maybe my friend will send me some if I ask. <laughs> Thomas says, hi, I'm Thomas's brother and we're huge fans. Literally love your videos and watch them when we wake up and when we go to sleep. Thank you. That's very nice. I'm glad that you guys like them so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Joanna says, I can only buy Lipton green iced tea in the Netherlands. Really? Do they not sell Lipton green iced tea? somewhere else. I know that they have sparkling tea in the Netherlands, which is not always all around everywhere. Mm -hmm. But we have Lipton in the US as well. Yeah, I think it's a little bit different. Yeah, that's interesting. Lord of the Brick says, Nutter Butters, haha, that's right up my alley. Yeah, Nutter Butters are good. I wish that they had more junk food here, but it's probably a good thing that we don't have so much junk food. I don't remember if I brought my water over or not, but I guess I did not do that. Oh well, no worries. 
Land of Sweet says, my good friend would give me his Nutter Butter Big Bar from his homemade packed lunch in high school. Aw, that's nice. What a good friend. And Rapta says, I love Lipton Green Tea Citrus. Nothing. Just checking <clears throat> on this. Okay. There we go. Clicking this in. Let's see. Oh, that's okay, Raptus. Don't worry about it. I uh, I just post that every once in a while for everyone. It's actually more the um, the self promotion is why I was posting it because I actually didn't even notice you were writing in caps, but um, it's I I started realizing that I think that it should be up to me if I'm promoting somebody, and I noticed on some of the larger channels that self promotion is not really allowed. So I think that's a more proper way to go about it. If I choose to promote somebody's stuff, then that's fine. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it, Orange Bricks. It's no worries. It's a new thing anyway, so it's no worries at all, really. No worries. And I'm happy to help anybody who's trying to grow and 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 create something and do better on their content. But I, I don't also think, you know, I would not want to go to someone else's channel and try to promote a lot. So I also think it's probably just a more polite way to be about it. But no worries. We'll keep the chat about fun stuff and random stuff. And yeah. <clears throat> yeah, if you're active in the chat and you just have a good conversation going, then people will flock to your channel anyway. They'll yeah. look in, look look you up and see, <clears throat> oh, you're a content creator. Let's just grow organically as it's supposed to. Hi, Chris. Chris Brickinit is here. Oh, hi, Brickinit. Hi, Brickinit. Rapta says, hey, turns. hey, Greg, amazing to see you, my English friend. Yeah, I guess him and Steph are taking turns. I don't know if Steph is still there, but good to see you. I hope that you guys are having a fun weekend, and it was really awesome watching y'all build the Ninjago City Gardens. That is really awesome that you guys did it so fast. Pretty cool. Oh, Paris. Paris, you're so sad. She's being really... You never really, get love from anybody. Really noisy today. It's like you never get food either. Is there still a mouse somewhere that's controlling something? Because I think she's walking on it. Oh, she just... Moved There's stuff back. moving around on here. I'm putting this back here. No worries. I just noticed that there's things moving and I'm not moving it. Jarf Bricks says, hello. Hi, Jarf Bricks. Thank you so much for coming. And Brickin' it says that Steph is sorting out tea at the moment. Ooh, nice. You have such a lovely wife, Chris. Steph is the best. And also, good morning, Chris, if you just woke up. I think uh, she said you were taking a nap or sleeping a while ago. Oh, you're such a bad cat. I don't know if she wants food or if she just wants attention. I think she's just getting upset about the heavy amount of Lego bricks that are always... <laughs> she Remember just when you guys attention. would just like binge watch like five <laughs> movies and I could just sit on your lap? <laughs> but now it's I like know. you take my chair you don't give me attention you talk but not to me Ooh, Jarbrick says my wife ordered us takeaway nice I want some takeaway I could go for some pizza or some Thai food Sarah looks like she's sweating uh, you do I don't know do I I'm not sweating, but that's just the light. It's probably just the lighting, yeah. There's like a really bright light up here, so it's probably just bouncing off of my head. And we're still waiting on this better light as well to arrive. That hasn't been shipped yet. I'm actually wondering if I can, uh, I don't know, there's nothing I can really do about it. It's just the light reflecting off of my uh, face. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I can do about that. It's my natural glow. And it says, yeah, I wasn't feeling well today. I think I've had too many late nights. Yeah, we stayed up really late last night, too. We woke up really late. I mean, working. And then I, I probably slept in as well because of the work and then the Lego streams and yeah. helping Sarah with the channel. Anna Mo says, should I buy this? The police station? <clears throat> if you like modulars, then definitely. If you want to have a Lego city, then yes. 
If you don't have a lot of money, maybe not. <laughs> but I think this one's pretty affordable, though. It's not so bad. And what I will say is that this set will be around for a while. If you're into the collecting before things go out of print, then maybe you're more advantageous of trying to find a module that could go out of print. Leaker Seeker wants to know, are you going to build Ninjago City Garden soon? We will when we get it, but we don't have it yet. So we'll definitely be building it on live stream once we get it. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you'll see it appear on our 8 or 12 hour live stream in two weeks. That's we should probably have it. I don't know if we should build it on that one, though. I think well, we should build fully, it beforehand. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, because otherwise I feel like I can't really pay really good attention to the build on it. But we do want to build it soon when we get it. Huh, Land of Sweet says I bought it in my mind. <laughs> and Milan says I bought it in my dreams. Hmm. Brick in it says, yeah, the police station is awesome. I really like it, but I agree with Mike. It'll be out for a while yet. Yeah. And Adam O says I don't have the room and the money. I think we're going to do bag 10 because that will finish up the second floor completely and then we'll check that and then I think we're going to call it a day. Yeah. You want to do bag 10? Oh, we're doing another one? Yeah, because it's the complete... Uh, oh yeah, floor. perfect. Let me mute it so you can open up the bags and I'll help a little bit, but my wrist does kind of hurt. I don't know what I did to it. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Bricksloth is here. Hi, Bricksloth. The fat. the fat needs some additional shots. Yeah, and Jarbrick says, still waiting on mine to get delivered, as well as City Gardens. Aw. Our police station did take a little bit longer than the other stuff that we ordered in 2021 to arrive, but our Ninjago City Gardens is just in the warehouse. I don't know what's going on with that. It's being quite slow. We don't pay for express delivery ever, so I uh, usually stuff comes super fast, so we don't need to do that. I'm sure it'll show up. But this is taking a little bit more time. They're probably taking care of all the UK orders standing out and just letting the people in Europe that already got their stuff uh, just to have a... Yeah, I can take them Brick in it says, yeah, shipping is crazy at the moment. No worries. So as you can see... We have a lot of stuff to build. Mm -hmm. We have plenty of stuff. Leaker Seeker wants to know if we're going to connect this with the other two Ninjago City sets. Yes, at some point, definitely. We have both of them, but I haven't built them yet. I got Ninjago City for my birthday a few years ago, and the docks we picked up in the last year. Yeah, we bought it at the beginning of last year. When we missed out on Apocalypse Burke, and I was like, well, we probably are going to miss out on the docks then. And then I found a good deal. <clears throat> for it, sorry. We haven't built them yet because we were traveling so much. So. Land of Sweet says, yeah, I'm still waiting on my order as well and I ordered it on the first, but it's not like a new set. It's the Astronomy Tower set from Harry Potter. That's a really nice one. So she says she doesn't get why it's taking so long. That's weird. Paris. <laughs> It especially looks weird when Paris is on here because the build cam has part of her body in it and then the rest of her is like above it. Now she wants to sit there again. What a dork. What a you dork. Want mouse? You want mousey? Paris? <laughs> Paris can. Where did you get away? I actually don't know how to raise that up a little oh, no, bit. That's pretty tight. I guess so. What you doing? Dorky cat. What have you? <laughs> She's weird. Your tail is on all the bricks and all the manuals. <laughs> She's a weirdo. Can you sit on the extra pieces? There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's back to being proper. It was supposed to be. Yeah. I'm trying to fix it again. It's not perfect, but we're trying. 
Land of Sweet says Paris Macaroni is checking you out. <laughs> oh, there you go, Paris. Do you want a younger a younger cat man in your life, Paris? <laughs> She's kind of an old lady. <laughs> oh, Adamo, that's sweet. Sarah deserves more subs. Thanks. It'll come with time. I'm uh, not too fussed about it or anything. It's already increased, and I think it will just be something that comes with time. Doc Sampson's gonna go. Gotta go. Have a great rest of the stream. Thanks, Doc. See you later, and Thanks, we're gonna end in a little while anyways after we finish this bag. Thanks for hanging with us. Jarbrick says, Lego don't like me. They canceled and reordered my police station, now out of stock, although they gave me 4,000 in VIT points, 25 pounds, as compensation. That's good. Lego's usually pretty good about it if there's some problems and you actually talk to them, then they usually do try to make it up to you, so that's good that they chose to do that, thankfully. Land of Sweet says, I mean, age is but a number, right, guys? She's only, like, 12 years older. And Adamo says, I just subbed. Aw, thanks, Adam. That's awesome. I unfortunately don't have my um, my thing working, but just pretend like it says Adamo on it. Oops. <laughs> I guess it should just say somebody just got just subscribed, so we can always click it. But yeah, my thing doesn't update properly, so that's nice, though. Thank you so much for that. Sorry about that. It's okay. It's kind of cutting into my arm a little. Brick and it says, completely agree, Sarah. Don't worry about subs. Just enjoy what you're doing and they will come. Yeah, exactly. That's how I feel about it as well. And I really never had a really specific idea what I wanted. I do have goals for 2021 overall now, but it seems to be doing really well already. So I'm already pretty close in my watch hours because I've been doing streaming for like eight months. Mm -hmm. That it's kind of the opposite, I feel like, what most people have going on with their channel goals. It's kind of fun. I am not too fussed about it. Leonard Bridgebrick says, please give the stream a thumbs up, peeps. Thanks, Greg. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah, Build awesome. is looking good, says Mama Lego. Thanks, Eileen. Thank you so much. And Joanna says, I found you in sub because you were really friendly in someone else's live stream chat. Aw, that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, I think I know which which live streamer that is and we like to hang out in there a lot we don't always always chat in there but i really like that person's streams they have kind of like a really positive energy and that's what i like to be around as well is just the positive energy of people so that's really nice joanna thank you and brick and it says mine both hit the goal on the same week wow nice. that's awesome that's good to go together like that i think mine is kind of on track for a similar thing as well because it's both both of the little bars are at the same spot. I'm, I think I'm 75% there, I would say. About 75% there. A couple more videos, a couple more streams. We'll get there within the year, which is a good goal. If we yeah, that in a year. that's my goal. I think that it can be reached within the next couple months. And Orange Brick says, I chat with Sarah and Corey streams. Yeah, I really like a, a Hobbies and also Brick's Toys a lot. They both do really good live streams. And I think if you like watching Lego content and you like hanging out with people that love Lego, you tend to see a lot of the same names over and over again, which is one of the really cool things is that you you tend to meet the same people over and over. And Adam O, yes, you would be correct in that. I do like that streamer quite a bit. He's one of my favorite people to watch and interact with. I really like the energy. And we've been watching that streamer and YouTuber for years, um, a long time, so... Definitely one of my major influencing and inspiring sources for my own channel. There are a couple people that are really inspiring to me. What app do you use to stream? We're not actually using an app. We are using a program and this one is Streamlabs OBS. But you have to have a pretty strong computer to run it. And Animo likes, likes that YouTuber as well. Yeah, they're awesome. Jarfrick says, Buying Lego at Lego. Yeah, in regards to how do you get a lot of VIP points. Yeah. Just buy a lot of Lego, save them up, treat them, 
my, my biggest advice is treat VIP points as real money. Yeah, don't just throw them away don't on random stuff. Don't just be stuff. like, yeah, oh, save I, them up. I have five dollars. Let's just get a random poly bag. Now work towards like a, a, a set goal. that you are interested in. Because people have been asking me that a lot in the comments on my recent video about how I got Ninjago City Gardens for only eighty dollars, and the way that we did that was we saved all our VIP points for an entire year. So it looks really uh, crazy to have that many VIP points, but we buy a lot of Lego and we also capitalize on the times when they do double VIP points. Mm -hmm. So if you wait for when it's a double VIP weekend and you buy your big sets during the double, then you will get double the points and you can save them all up. We save them for one year and then we buy something nice with it, so. Especially at Black Friday, we used that VIP, we bought a bunch of Christmas stuff. Yeah. We save those up. We wanted to get this one for free, but we went with the gardens instead. Yep, I think it turned out really well. Yeah. No, but you have to, to buy your Lego at the Lego store for sure. Yeah. Leonard Bridge Brick says VIP points and gifts with purchases are good sources of reducing the cost of your Lego. That is for sure. 100%. Milan says don't do sweepstakes either. There's a really small chance that you'll win. Agreed. Oh, yeah, we don't do that. No, we don't do those. I did those free ones, like get a million bit points because it was free. And sometimes we spent them on little promos, like we got this metallic keychain. But the minifigure stuff, I figured that is global and there's maybe 50 of them and there's thousands of people chucking their points in there. I don't really believe in that. Brickin' it says, yeah, double VIP and then bought the Batwing. Nice. On my way to the Lego store now says Lord of the Bricks. Awesome, I hope you get something cool. And Adamo says, yeah, I got the Destiny's Bounty from Ninjago with all my VIP points. Wow, nice one. That's a nice free set to get. Very cool, Adam. Yeah, you have to be smart about it. <laughs> Strategic. About how to spend those VIP points. And how to accumulate them as well. Yeah, especially if you buy bigger sets. If you have the, the, the ability to buy the bigger sets. Like the modulars, the fairground rides. Then it adds up quickly, but... Wow, Jarbricks has over 17,000 VIP points. That's quite a lot. You can get something nice then as well. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. 100 euros. That's a lot. Over 100 euros, yeah. Wow. We dropped like 33,000 or something. So that's kind of half. So it's like 100, 110 euros. Yeah, it was about 33,000. I actually forgot to mention that in the video, but no worries. <laughs> Lord of the Bricks says, I'm hoping to see some good choices on the pick brick wall. Yeah, I really wish we could go to the Lego store, but stuff is still closed here. So when it opens up, I'm definitely going to be looking to see what they have. And they've come out with some new pieces for the build a mini bins for 2021. And one of them I feel like needs to be in Mr. and Mrs. Brickinit's life. Brickinit needs this torso. It has a pug with like a space helmet on it. It's so cute and cool. This, You should look up the new torsos for 2021. Maybe I'll send you a picture of it on Discord. Actually, I'm going to do that because it's really cute. Let me see if I can find a picture of this. I saw these new torsos and I really want to go to the build a mini bins and buy these. Oh, do I have a picture of this? I sure hope so. I know where I can find it though. I want to buy some from this lady if I can, since we can't even go to the store. Ooh, Lord of the Bricks. Saved up VIP points and got the UCS Falcon. That is a lot of Lego buying. Ooh. Let's see, where is this lady at? I know she bought some of these tops and they are so cute. Where is this post? Oops. This group is actually pretty active. It's my ladies only group. Hey Cosmo Candy, thanks for stopping by. Oh, hello Cosmo Candy. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you're having a great weekend. I hope you're having a Lego-filled weekend. <laughs> the best kind to have. Can I like look for a specific user? I don't know. I'm gonna try. Oh, I think I can. Like yep. I was asking Brooke what the next big set is they're looking forward to building. I think he's still working on that Galaxy's Edge mall, right? Like that's a pug, right? Doesn't that look like Bruce? Yeah, it does. It's really cute. I feel like Brick and it really needs this torso. He's actually going to enjoy his tea, but you can always No send worries. It to him. I'm going to send it to him anyways, and he can just look at it later. Enjoy your tea break. It's so cute. We don't really do tea breaks. We do snack breaks more like. 
I'm just going to send it on here. So cute. So that happens. <laughs> That's okay. That's what you get for doing it with one hand. And also look at this new molded piece too. Oh, the That's really cool, right? Or something. Yeah. That's really cool. I love that torso so much. It's incredible. My gosh. So amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. He got it last time at the Lego store and loves it. That's so cool. I haven't been able to go, but I definitely want one of those. I'm going to try to buy one off of a lady. Lando sent so you a cool. picture of macaroni. Oh, thank you, Lando. Let me or look. Paris's enjoyment. Oh, thank you. I'm sure she will enjoy that. Let me check this out. Aww. Look at that cutie. Oh, it's like hanging out there. He's so Taking cute. He's adorable. Uh, Paris is not the other side of the room, though, but I'll show her later. He needs a gal in his life to look over his kingdom. <laughs> That's funny. It would be cool if we lived closer by and then they could, like, visit each other. Although my cat is a little bit not the nicest to other cats, but maybe she would like macaroni. Thanks for stopping by, Jar. Bye, Jar. Also, thank taking you. Tea break. Good idea. It's tea time in the UK. But that sounds like dinner time. And Cosmo Candy says that they hope I'm having a great weekend too. And they're building the Technic Lamborghini. Cool. Oh, that's a cool one. Cosmo Candy, I don't know if you're a male or a female. So if you let me know that, you don't have to, but it would be helpful to know. I don't like to assume people are guys because there's a lot of girls. So. I would actually be inclined to assume you are a female, but I'm not sure. Sarah, where were you there in the Brixie stream yesterday? Yes, Adam, I definitely was. I was watching it and we were about to go to bed and it got really epic and really crazy really fast. That was an amazing live stream. And yeah, see, I was right. Cosmo Candy is a girl. I figured Cosmo Candy. That's awesome. I don't like to assume people are guys. I actually usually assume they're girls because 50% of the people that watch this channel are female, so. Very cool. You can call me Candy. Okay, awesome. That sounds like a cool set, Candy. Not sure what else I missed, but it looks pretty good. You can see a lot of the chat on here. It's really nice. Well, that's actually just a pop-out of, uh, of YouTube. Oh. That's just a Google Chrome. That's not part of StreamYard. Oh, I, I thought it, it was part way. of StreamYard. I was like, wow, this is really cool. No, that's why I realized you don't see mm. the chat. So I, that's why I had to do it like this. This is very helpful. I thought this was like all integrated together. I was no. like, wow, this is nice. If you go in your sense. stream, then you can click on uh, option slash uh, pop out chat. And then I just made it like that size. I mean, I'm actually not totally sure about this chat on the screen because I feel like if somebody writes something inappropriate is that there forever on my video even if it gets removed then that's there on my video forever so I'm not sure how much I really feel that yeah yeah okay. a little dangerous but just subscribe oh thank you candy that's really nice appreciate that so much I'll play the little thing for it even though it won't say your name you but I have to fix it but thank you so much <laughs> I do appreciate it a lot. And welcome to the live streams. I'm Sarah, of course. And I am Mike. And uh, we do Lego streaming a few times in the week. Usually on Mondays and Thursdays, and now Saturdays for now. At the same time, usually. Oh. And I try to make content about my collection and what we're doing. Reviews from time to time. And the most important of all, getting to know other people in the LEGO community. That's my favorite thing. All the people all around the world. <laughs> Adam like says, that. I went crazy in that stream last night. Hmm. Yeah, it was really intense. And there were like 800, 900, then 1,000 people watching. So it was really crazy, but fun. That was a cool, cool stream and a crazy video. Four calls, yeah. I know, I was going to say the same thing. Poor Coliseum. It's so sad. But I think something good will come out of it, right? Yeah, it can be rebuilt. It can be rebuilt, except for the broken parts. Yeah. And he's going to buy a new one and, and rebuild that. Legoland Ballarat, hello. They say good day and good morning. 4.56 a.m. in Ballarat, Victoria, Australia. Wow, well, good morning. Good morning over there. 
My gosh, time for some coffee. <laughs> we just had a door built from uh, Australia here going to bed late. Yeah, and then in... Uh, and now we have people... Waking. In Victoria is waking up. That's a big time difference. Yeah, Adam, he said he'll buy another one and use the parts to make a castle mock. That is correct. So it'll something good will come out of it. And it was pretty entertaining to watch. In my opinion, I don't know how you felt about it, but I yeah, liked watching. No, it was it's fun. funny. I mean, uh, <laughs> hey, it was it's crazy. Uh, it's his Lego, and mm -hmm. he can do with it what he wants. I mean, uh, it was funny. And it got a lot of no, humor. Lando, not not M and R. It was on the Brixie stream. We like to watch Brixie. Yeah, M and R, of course, did it as well, like a few yeah. weeks ago, but. Brixie was. Um, we were just watching his live stream like we normally do, and. Somebody was saying that he should smash his Colosseum, and he made the offhand comment that he would never do that. But the only way that he would smash his Lego Colosseum would be if somebody were to donate the same amount to buy a brand new set. And then somebody in the chat was crazy enough to start sending increments of Super Chats in $99 over and over and over again, like five times. So somebody sent him like $500, and then he had to be a man of his word and he smashed his lego coliseum and he did it live on his live stream so it was crazy yeah adam says the dude donated 500 yeah it was crazy it was a very very i i didn't expect to see that when we were just watching the brixie stream and about to go to bed we had to stay up till 4 a.m to watch it but it was worth it <laughs> it was totally worth it took a long time to set up but um, yeah but yeah mnr also He's, his, he's uh, also policy. made a video smashing it, but Bricks, he just did it on a live stream. It was really crazy. Lord of the Bricks says that's insane. Yeah, he made a video about it. If you want to watch the video, um, then you can watch the Bricksy video about how he smashed his Lego Coliseum. It was really... He filmed it with like three cameras, different angles. Yeah, Atlanta Sweet says, I just watched it now. Oh my gosh, that's great. Yeah, it was wild. And he did that live. So if you were just watching the live stream, that just happened like live in front of you. He was building his Ninjago City Gardens and then mm -hmm. he was like, oh, well, I guess I'm going to take a break. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know if that type of level of madness will ever ha happen here though. But we had some pretty crazy stuff too with the cats all of a sudden showing up and like staying up for midnight. At the yeah, first of Adam January. stayed up past his bedtime too to watch it. We definitely stayed up past our bedtime, Adam. I wanted to watch every second of it. I definitely was mesmerized by what was going to happen. Yeah, you're correct, Milan. MNR also destroyed his Lego Coliseum. And people mention that in the chat as well on the Brixie stream. Like, I think most people know that that, that MNR also did that. That's probably how beforehand. it got started. It's probably how it, it got recommended, and, yeah. And they were like, hey, can you do the same? Smash your Lego Coliseum. It was wild, though. I've never seen... I didn't expect that Lego set to break apart so much. <sighs> it kind of hurt a little bit to watch, but it was... One Technic piece was, I guess... Yeah, like 16, totally broken. Completely broken, right? Like yeah. cracked. Lord of the Brick says, oh, I will watch it. I'm lacking a little in my moderator duties. I should have been there last night for Jordan. Are you a mod, Lord of the Bricks, in, in the Brixie? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. There were a lot of mods in there last night. So, oh, it, uh, were. yeah. And I think they actually, if you're part of the Discord server as well, for the Brixie Discord, if you're a member, then I think they actually sent an at to everyone to let people know that he was wrecking his uh, Coliseum and that they needed more mods. So but there were a lot of mods in there. The chat was also, like, kind of uncontrollable, but no worries. Yeah, and Lord of the Brick says, I am. Yeah. I think I do remember that now. You could also make the Colosseum into a cat bed, says Anna G. Yeah, I think I saw a picture of somebody letting someone sleep in the inside the Colosseum, like the cat curled up inside the round part of the Colosseum, like all cozy. It's cute, right? It's cute. Are you going to get the Colosseum, says Baby Yoda Davis? Probably not. We have Probably space not. For it. That thing is really big, and I don't have a good place to put it. But it's cool, though. That's a cool set. A lot of the same colors, though. A lot of the same colors. And Land of Sweet says, yeah, now it's totally in ruins. Definitely. It was wild. 
Lord of the Bricks says, yeah, I really should have been there. They had me stay four hours over last night at work. Oh no, that's not good. At least you can watch the video of it though. Mm, and I think also, I guess, if you go to the um, playlist on Brixie's channel, you can also access the live stream of it as well if you're really that interested to see that he was just like building his city gardens. Brixie, I think, unlists his live streams, so they're in a separate playlist on his channel, but you can still find them if you look. Which, I don't know if that's a smart way to go about it. Like, if you have enough views from your normal videos, then at some point maybe I'll do the same thing. Just put them in a, in a hidden playlist. Because I think it has something to do with how it how YouTube factors you into the algorithms. And I think if you're a live streamer, you get factored in differently than if you are making video content daily. Land of Sweet says, oh my gosh, that's funny. And Land of Sweet says, I couldn't ever buy a set like that. It's too much of one color. Yeah, I agree. It's a lot of tan. And that's one of the reasons why we also don't do a lot of the Star Wars, because it's a lot of gray. Even Moss Eisley was a lot of tan, but I like those sets, though. It's looking pretty good. I like, uh, let me see the vine on the front again in the camera. Well, not for me, for the... Yeah, it looks nice. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, just a little interior here. Totally not Colin, says Yeet. Hi, Totally Not Colin. Welcome to the live streams. I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm Mike. And we do like a live streaming a couple times out of the week. Welcome to the channel. If you're not subscribed, you can consider subscribing if you're interested. And if not, that's totally okay, too. <laughs> Alright, look what we have here. It is the first floor. So, how do we do this? Do we have to zoom out a little more? Or should we just get rid of the build cam? I, well, actually... Yes? We could do the... Far away view? Because otherwise people can't see the building. Fish eye time. There we go. That works a little bit, I guess. Just I'll leave the owners up to you. Oh, thanks. You still can't really see this that well, but that's totally fine. You can kind you can of see the, the build cam if you want. Yeah, I think if I just get rid of it. If I do it like this, then you guys can actually see like better how this is looking. We'll just get rid of that. Yeah, it's looking good. It looks really nice. I like this a lot. Yeah, Adam, we got we're back at six sixty two. We started at six sixty and went up and then down and then up again. So totally not. Colin says the White House was all white, but it was still a beautiful set. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Adam, o, my sub count goes up and down a lot. I don't know why that is. I think a lot of people subscribe from watching the shorts and then maybe they unsubscribe or something. And then people are also always subscribing at the same time. But that's really awesome. So we still need to do this top floor here and then the roof. It's the cat. Are you going to finish it today, Sans Baby or the Davis? I don't think we will. Um, we'll probably continue building this on my final part of the live stream for this, which will be on Monday. Yeah, I, I think, think so. we're going to build the rest of this on Monday on my own live stream on my channel. So if you're interested in seeing the rest of this, if you're located in the U.S., that's going to be 1.30 Eastern Standard Time on Monday. Yep. And if you're located in Europe, then that is 6.30 GMT. Yep. Yeah. 6.30 UK time or 1.30 Eastern Standard Time on Monday is when we will complete the rest of the modular police station. Yep. We I think may, that's the plan. I, I actually, we don't, we are not scheduled to appear on anybody else's stream right? not till monday nope unless oh, yeah, there's monday an impromptu afterwards. one yeah, but yeah yeah canada i'm not sure the time that i'm there but uh yeah if you're east coast time it's uh it's typically a monday your afternoon or maybe early morning Hannah says i live in canada what time mm -hmm. um I don't know because I'm not sure what part of Canada you're in. It should be in the afternoon though sometime. I'm going to say like 1.30 in the afternoon, 12.30 maybe, mm -hmm. 2.30, somewhere in the afternoon. It depends on what part of Canada you're in. Yeah. Finish if, it today, South Baby. Oh, yeah. We've been streaming for three hours mm -hmm. and we woke up and we had to rush food. But, yeah, uh, I think we've been doing this for 
Yeah, Probably? the stream isn't set up for Monday, but we'll, we'll mm. take care of that. You'll see that pop up and then uh, if you yeah. can make it, that would be great. Take a look at the channel. Like usually if you wake up on Monday morning and you look, it'll be there like when it's going to be. So definitely remember Monday and subscribe and take a look at it. Hi, Lego Mike. We're about to end, but thank you so much for coming by. He says, hello, Lego family. Hi. It took us three hours to build the uh, second floor of the police station with these two minifigs. Lord of the Brick says, beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's quite lovely. I really especially like the little trees in the front, which now you can't really totally see the details on. This is not part of the set, but, uh... but look at these trees. Aren't those just the cutest trees that you've ever seen? They're like, um, they're made out of those little splat gears, which are used in the Mario sets and also in Lego Friends sets sometimes. Yeah. It's looking pretty cool. Any person? This donut guy? This is really cute. Adam says I get the notification. Yeah, hit the bell if you want to make sure that you don't miss it. Or, like I said, join the Discord server, which I'll post one more time in the chat. But if you join the Discord server, that's a really good way to keep up with when the live stream is going live. I literally post in it a minute before we go live that we're live, and then people can just click the link, no problem. So it's easy to find it in there. And Lego Mike says my road plates are on the way. Mike, looking good, Sarah. Can't wait to see your city. Oh, thank you so much. We're going to work really hard on making it a great one. And hopefully I can have another update for what we're planning to do with that. Probably within the next week, I would say. Maybe on Wednesday or something like that. I'll post another city update and let you know what our plans are. Uh, I don't think you're going to see a lot yet, but we'll at least include you on the planning for that and show you what we're thinking about doing for the city. Yeah. Which will be really cool. And yeah, Adamo, the car promo is uh, was gone within a week or so in most places in the world. We, uh, we were able to snap one up. Yeah, this car is really cute too, so it's pretty sad that not everyone was able to get one. Doesn't really fit with it, but no. it kind of does because it was the promo for this same thing. Oops. And Milan joined the Discord, that's awesome. Oh great, Milan, thanks. I appreciate that a lot and I will be sure to welcome you when I get off of the live stream and take a look at that. trying to see if there's anything else going on but yeah good to know that the discord link works so that's pretty cool i like that yeah i, mean, I just have to make sure i update that yeah. next time because it expires the link is only good for like 24 hours so if you want to join the discord server you need to click the link now <laughs> or in the next couple hours i mean this turned out really well i'm surprised that everything went so smoothly with the whole new streamlabs setup and the uh adam the says lucky my country doesn't have it anymore um, we ordered our stuff literally as the clock changed over. Otherwise, we might have not gotten it either. We ordered all of our stuff. Actually, I had a New Year's Eve live stream, and we ordered all of the stuff while we were live on New Year's Eve. So, on the 1st of January, as soon as the clock changed over, we ordered all the Lego. Bye, Lando. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and keeping us company while we built this. You may see us in some of the other live stream YouTube yeah, streamers course. today. But until then, Family breaks in an hour. we'll see you guys all on Monday. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.